Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Death Monster. I am joined by Sam and Chris. Hey, Chris yeah. from Darker Days Radio, who you may know if you haven't heard of them before. Go and check them out. Fantastic podcast. And we are now back for Lantern Year 11. So, Warren hasn't joined us today. No. So I'm hoping we get to make some great choices for our settlement, it's for our society, that he doesn't get a sale. It's because he's weak. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. he, he, you see, he's <laughs> skipping the next hunt. He must have got like a broken rib. No. Oh yes, definitely. Oh no, sorry, it was a torn torn muscle. Yes. Yeah. For, for skip next time. So for yeah. this one, you've gone to the sub bench. <laughs> Roll me in. <laughs> well, we actually have created you a new character, Sam. Yeah, yeah. He is named Sam. I hope he dies. Yes. <laughs> um, no, he'll be all right. No, uh, I will live. I will rule Kingdom Death. Mm. So what's going on? Uh, we have a level two lion. So oh, we're really? going to get back into, you know, we've got a chance to hunt things. We want to get some new gear. Yes. Uh, we want to hunt lions because we want lion gear. Yeah, I want to make a, a full set of lion armor, which would look so cool. And of course, there will be some small changes because we've got the 1.5 update now yep. in play. Uh, it hasn't changed too much, but there's the book, oh, very big, nice and, and there's the hunt events, and yes. a lot of these are now quite different. So yes. we will see what happens as we go through it. So we've got the hunt track. Yes. Uh, let's have a look at characters we've got then. Yeah. Right, so uh, yeah. Who do we have on deck? Uh, we've got here. We, we'll do a close-up shot, I'm sure. But yeah. you'll see. Uh, so Sam, you're playing. Yep. Sam. This is me. This is the new uh, old man survivor. But we use him because he's got a big club. Old and man Sam. Yep. We've um, cheated a little. We've yeah. put a, a bone club into our equipment because it's the new weapon in the update. Yeah, we want to show it off. We yeah. want to play with the new toys. So we've got a bone club. Yeah. Um, we've got. I'm playing using. Eve here. Yeah. Um, so she's not armed with much in weapons wise, she's more utility. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Joshua. Joshua. Uh, well, that's Lilith. That's Lilith, sorry, with the King Spear. Yes, and a scrap sword just in case. And then Joshua here has a big counterweighted axe. Of course. That's everything. All right, shall we hunt? Yeah, uh, right, so we'll go round the table with the survivors. Right. Cause well, uh, seeing as it sounds first game, yeah. let's uh, have him go first. So you draw. So I just, you just draw this card. Draw, so draw these the all be shuffled yeah. beforehand. You lay them out. Everybody moves okay. up. And then if we put that under the camera here, yeah. we can it's turn it. Around. Aromatic breeze. Turn it around. So aromatic breeze. Okay. So let's. Chris, if you, you want to like give it a read. Yeah. Yep. So uh, the hungry lion sniffs the survivor's musk on the wind. Uh, move the lion one space toward the survivors on the hunt board. Nice. That's quite good. Uh, if it moves into survivor space, it, an ambush occurs. If the line ambushes survivors, they skip their turn. Blah 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 blah. Roll random hunt event. So, uh, white is tens. Okay. Roll. Roll two. Let's see what happens. It's a ninety, and that was that one there. Yeah. yeah. So it's a it's ninety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's now, take the rest. Did, of those did out. they change many of the hunt events in this? <sighs> Some are brand new, okay. and some are subtle changes so that equipment mm -hmm. and innovations can mitigate some of the arbitrary randomness of these things. So, 90, light on the horizon. Oh. The, the survivors hear a screeching howl, followed by a, crash, uh, by a crash. They see an explosion of multicoloured light on the horizon. The unnatural light illuminates the survivor's way. If at least one survivor is sane, uh, yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they follow the light. You may re-roll the next result on the hunt event table. Uh, no one's insane. Regardless of what the survivors do, um, the light... Um, how much insanity do you need to be insane? Um, you need to have at least three insanity points to be insane. Mm. Uh, but if on four. This, all survivors are insane. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay, important. So, uh, we can add to... Um, Ah, uh, what am I doing? Sorry, regardless of what the survivors do, the light reaches the settlement. That means the settlement event for, on our timeline, uh, do we have that out? We'll just have uh, to make a note of it um, yeah. later. Yeah. We get the lights in the sky settlement event. So we okay. actually get two settlement events. Interesting. Next. If you just jot it on the I'll back of on them. So. Yeah. So that's Lighting really cool. Sky. Yeah, that's, that's And we nice get to re-roll the next hunt event. If we really happens. don't like it. Yeah. Which is very good, because some of these can be very painful, if I guess you remember my... from our previous videos. Yeah, I guess it's my turn to draw now. Uh, yeah, so you draw, everybody moves up, and what do we get? Uh, we've got Lion in Heat. Oh, oh God. That, that, doesn't that, sound like. that doesn't sound good. Uh, the darkness is filled with unearthly screeching and yowling. Huddled together, the survivors close their eyes, but cannot sleep. All survivors suffer one brain damage event. 
Okay. Okay, so, so that's I was a sanity on Lilith. Mm. So this is like when you hear the cats in the alley outside, yeah. but a hundred times worse. Yeah. I lose uh, an insanity point on here. Yeah. So do so I, I? Yeah. You you will have um, on your character sheet um, a place where insanity points are marked. Mm -hmm. So insanity points are armor against brain damage. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't have any, don't worry because you can't take serious injuries like that on the hunt. Yeah, but my Sam and Joshua both mark this box. Oh yeah, you mark so, the last box, obviously. The brain box. Yeah. And yeah. I don't take any points of insanity? No, no insanity no. You, you, you gain to be armoured. I see. You yeah. lose it due to brain damage. Yeah, if you're insane, you don't care what you're hearing or seeing in this monstrous, dark and twisted world. <laughs> so it's on to me. Yeah, and I go forward. So we draw this. But it's just going to be a random one. Yeah. Yep, but everybody moves up. And now I need to roll. Yep. So two dice, please. It's marching steadily towards that line. Sixty. Uh, no, 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 no. Six. 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 Sorry. Tens counts as zeros in yep. this yep. bit. Six. Ooh, okay. The faceless statue. Uh, the survivors come upon a faceless statue holding a shining lantern. Mm -hmm. Basking in the warm light, the survivors are renewed. Each survivor gains one survival. Hey. Nice. But we've already got our survival maxed out. Uh, Joshua's on Joshua. three. Because we've got a survival limit of four. So the innovations you have set a cap on how much survival characters can have. I yeah. see. Oh, that's if the settlement shame. has sculpture, we don't, so we're going to skip this bit. Um, so ignore that. So the next bit is the survivors may rest here longer. If they do, each survivor heals all injury levels and lost armor points on one hit location. We don't need to do that because yeah. we're all fine. Yeah, we're good. Um, but this would be good if we had taken event damage. Yeah. And... Yeah, they're not all insane, so we can skip that. So that's that revo uh, resolved. Yep. Uh, so, so it's Joshua next. Uh, yes, so Joshua has to go next. So we'll and we know this is another basic hunt event card. Yeah. So we haven't got anything else. Rolling for this. Two dice, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, whites or tens, yeah? Yeah. Let's see what we get. So 80. 80. 80. I can, okay. That's not bad. Oh, you, you, you say it's not like, I have no <laughs> idea what this could be. <laughs> I think we got it last time. Um, Lovelorn Rock. The or survivors not. pass a ring of stones with an un unassuming boulder at the centre. Each survivor rolls 1d10. Oh. Uh, the lowest scoring survivor becomes the straggler. I hit, oh, here you are. One of these. Uh, I'll need two. Right, so I get a two. two. Okay. I get a nine. 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 Uh, Lilith gets a... Four. Four. And Joshua gets a six. Okay, so it's Eve. Yeah. The straggler hefts the boulder, it's heavy, and promises to carry it everywhere. <laughs> uh, forever in love with it. I love, love my brick. Rock. <laughs> I love my brick. Yeah. Um, they must always leave uh, one space in their gear grid empty as it contains their beloved rock. <laughs> that means if I didn't have space on the gear grid, yeah. I'd have to sacrifice an item. Yeah. I don't. I'm fine. She yeah. just carries a rock. Uh, are you, are you gonna, gonna have to write that in? Um, we'll call this on your survivor sheet. Okay. <laughs> are you going to name your rock? Um, name it Bob. Love I'd have gone with Rocky. Lawn Rock. No, Bob. Bob Leave the Rock. Gear space. Or you name it Dwayne. 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 There we go. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> all for that event. Um, <laughs> Interesting. And on to the next white Back line to, to Sam, if you want to take this. Yeah, certainly. Everybody moves so up. We flip this, yes? Yep. This is a lion event. Yeah. And this so is got? Sea of Golden Grass. Oh, okay. So, so one. fields of golden grass lay ahead. The event revealer may choose to avoid the planes and roll twice on the hunt event table. We have... We haven't used that re-roll yet, have we? Ah, but it was only your next, it said. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Oh well, um, before moving on the hunt. Otherwise, each survivor gains plus one courage. So either you get to roll twice on the hunt event table, as mm -hmm. normal, or every survivor gets plus one courage, mm -hmm. and you roll on the table here, which could result in the monster ambushing us. This could be very good, because Joshua is one pip away from a courage milestone. Yeah, or we could end up just rolling as normal on here, or... Um, we move the white line one space. Oh, we'll, uh, uh, oh, it could ambush us either way. Mm. You're the event revealer, Sam, so it's your call. 
but you can actually you can move the white line either one space forward closer to us or one step further away. Now this is dicey because yeah we've got uh, overwhelming darkness and that can really screw up yeah, things like survival, insanity, mm, and so forth. Yeah. So what do you want to do? It's your call. I say let's go and get roll on this courage. Let's get everyone okay. some. Courage. Do you want the courage and just roll on this table? Because yeah. Even, do you really want to? Risk it ambushing us? Ambushing isn't horrible. No, it is because it gets two cycles of We've attacks. We've that before. Mm. Yeah, but that was a level one lion. <laughs> this is level two. <laughs> let's be honest. It's okay, bit... okay, yeah. But I say let's go for it. Let's try and get some courage. Fine. Okay. okay. So, so everyone Joshua gets some courage. Milestone. Okay, we'll um, uh, Lilith deal with that further. momentarily. Let's yep. see. What happens? So roll d10. Okay, just a single d10. Yep. Eight. Okay, yep. Yeah. So you can choose to either move it one away or one closer. Uh, mm. So if we move it closer, it gets the ambush, yeah? Yeah. And if we move it away, we have to go through the story event. Yes. Hmm. Well, seeing as you were so keen not to be ambushed, let's uh, move it back further. Okay, so okay. we're going to go through Overwhelming Darkness. But we've triggered Courage. Yes. So let's uh, deal with um, that. Which, yeah. which so we each gain bold. one point of courage. Bold. Oh, for Joshua. Yeah, yes. so bold. So this happens during the sh the, the hunt phase. Yes. So roll a d10. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Thank you. Let's see what I get. For one. 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 Uh, they get a plus one uh, speed token when I find it. Uh, uh, so I the, it's none of these three. Oh, you also tick off um, prepared. Prepared, okay. So that's not going to really help us. Uh, help. Add hunt XP to your roll when determining a stagger. A straggler. Oh, straggler, yeah. So there's a speed token. You get plus one speed for the rest of the, the this showdown. Awesome. And that uh, determining the straggler makes him a little bit more safe to take out and about. Yeah. For mm -hmm. Determining stragglers. After he gains some XP. Right. It's overwhelming darkness time. Yeah, well, we move up into it. Let's see it. how it goes. And this is on you, Chris. <laughs> right, well, no, this is on all of us. <laughs> uh, all survivors must determine which of the path they walk. So, so yeah. What's... Not a good time to mention my nyctophobia, is it? Yeah, so what's your insanity? You've got insanity zero. Yeah, zero. Uh, you're not um, doomed, which means you. you, you um, and that's if no other path survives. Uh, do you have any courage? Um, one point. I have one point of courage. So it is the path of the doomed. So roll the d10. Got a three. three. That's okay. You glimpse a nightmare whale swinging overhead. Your heart oh. shrivels, lose half of your survival rounded down, and you gain the post-traumatic stress disorder. You got PTSD. Yeah, <laughs> from seeing a whale. Well, a flying nightmare yeah. whale. So yeah, so you, I go down to two survival. Yeah, yeah. and write that type uh, that um, onto your impairments. Yeah, thank you. And that then applies to you. Yep. I now have to roll for Eve. Yep. For nine. Yes. Plus one insanity. Plus one courage. Nice. All right. Uh, I will roll for Lilith. She has three insanity. Then she's insane. Yeah. Roll on the insane table then. This should be entertaining. For a 10. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yes! Uh -huh. um, the crab spider you've been travelling with s stops to eat a few missing maggots. You decide you can't leave your friend behind. You gain <laughs> one crab spider vermin resource. So what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got a pet. Yeah. I didn't realise she was a hunter. <laughs> That's oh, crab dear. spider there. Oh, this. Oh, look at it be cute. So you can archive it. You're arachnophobic. What are you a, yeah, spider. Don't, six legs, that's enough. Okay. Eight legs is what sets me off. So that's useful for us. So oh, nice. you get survival if you eat it. Nice. So that's so, four. And I assume that can be used on any of us. Uh, it's just her, unless she passes it to someone else on yeah. the board. Okay, so roll for Joshua with the Path of the Doom, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yes. So let's see what we get. For a 10. Oh, well, uh, yeah, he ga also gains plus one insanity and plus one courage. Nice. So, one insanity, you one courage. You keep up with you because you'll need to reference Glorious. it. Yeah. And that's that done. And now we move once more forward on Lola's turn into and the lion. 
And so it's showdown time. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll quickly get reset up and we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, it is time for the hunt. Okay. So we have ourselves set up. Our lion is in the middle of the board. We've set up some terrain. So we've got some acanthus, a pillar, and the long grass, which you'll remember is very, very useful. Yes. Uh, the acanthus plants are good because we can get uh, resources from that yep. and health, long grass, the tall grass for evasion purposes, yeah. yep. and the pillar, obviously, somewhere to hide behind. I, yeah. I get the feeling having a high evasion right now is going to be very useful. Yeah. Yep. Basically, for every point of evasion you have, it uh, increases the monster's target number by one, making mm. you harder to hit. So, um, there's not much else to really do other than start the monster turn, because yep. he goes first. Yeah, who's going to start with our monster controller? Oh, that's a good point. I haven't even found the card for that. Uh, there we go, monster controller is going to be you. Okay. Well, so important thing for this, Sam. If, if you are the monster controller and you decide to target one of the characters under your control, that character gains plus one insanity. Okay. Well, the, ca the, the, the character who counts as monster control, so it'll be... The monster control currently is Sam, then next yep. turn it'll be Eve, next turn yep. the monster controller is technically Lilith, yeah. Yeah. and then, yeah, then on to Joshua, Joshua, just to make so it So it's fair. by the survivors rather than the players. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, if you've got four players or six, number of players, that's yeah. great. Oh, imagine playing this with six people. Oh, so monster, well, if you did that, the monster has more health and more damage. Oh, really? To balance things out. Uh, let's bring Coco and Lance. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. <laughs> let's, let's get on with this. Let's, yeah. let's see yeah. what his AI card is. Right, what's he going to do? So he does power swat. So he goes for closest threat facing in range, okay, which so. is either going to be yourself, Sam, yeah, or um, it's closest threat facing in range. So it doesn't mean line of sight. So technically, because we're all six squares away from the line, mm. they're all valid threats. Yeah, they're all in the facing arc, and mm. they're all in range. So your pick now. You're yeah. quite hard to hit because you're in the grass, you've got monster grease, and you've got full rawhide set, so you've also got plus one evasion there. So you're already f plus four evasion. Yeah. So he's going to be hitting you on an accuracy of two, that's going to be accuracy of six, so he's hitting you on sixes. Mm -hmm. I'm more than happy to go and attack myself. Sure. Right. Gain one insanity. Okay. And then we move the line into contact. So how, many mo how much movement does he have? Um, he's got six mo movement. I see. Um, movement I'm... is orthogonal. Yeah. So, let's see. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, like that. That's correct. Now, also remember, he's got the cunning trait, which means uh, at the end of the monster turn, he will grab you and run away mm. and pull you away. So, if you want, before he does his movement, you can always spend a point of survival to dash mm. to move in such a way that the monster will move towards you but won't end in range with you because already it's, once it's picked its target there's a flow break where you can spend a survival action a survival mm. point do a survival action and move away yeah so what you could do then if we go back to here yeah it's targeted you and if you spend a survival point if you went to there it's going to yeah. go one, it's rem and also the lion at this level has got a movement of seven. Mm. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So really you need to do something like, uh, <laughs> it's going to move directly towards you. Yeah, I you think see, you it's go, got me whatever well, You've got your full movement, don't you? One, two, three, four, five. If you just end there, yeah, yeah. it's not going to reach you because you've moved enough. So okay. you spend a survival point to do this. I will do so. Uh, and roll, forget, a roll your d10. Well, before you, so before oh, you rub out your survival, I do that, sorry. roll d10. Six plus. No, Two. So you'll no, survive you lose it. So I still lose it? Yeah. 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 You're down to one. But as we said, we're going to move you one, two, three, four. Is that going to be far enough? Let's go five. Let's play safe. Yeah. yeah. And then the lion will move towards you. And when it's moving towards you, it's going to do it in, in a way that is the shortest route. Yeah. So it'll go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven to there. Yes. Yeah. Which makes sense because you do it by the shortest route, you would pick it by a diagonal. There, there's an example in the rule book. There's mm. other ways it could move. You only have to pick the shortest route if there are, say, terrain in the way which mm. you can't move past. Yeah. So that's the monster's turn. Okay. And as I said, cutting happens at the end of its turn. So that doesn't come into play. Mm -hmm. So then it's our go. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, Who's next then? Well, this is the thing. Now it is free flow. We can pick which order our characters activate in. So, personally, I would kick things off with Joshua, get him into that blind spot and have a swing. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, you could do that, but remember, Joshua's got a reach of two. So, because you're at a diagonal, that represents you know, his reach is one, two. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so that's how reach works with yeah. diagonals. So, he doesn't even have to move. So, he doesn't have to move to attack. So, yeah. he could attack with Joshua first. So, could swing and then could use his movement to run away from it, which could be very useful. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'll do that. So he is swinging the counterweight of axe for two, six, four. You've got two speed, uh -huh. but you've also got a plus one speed token. So you've got three, three dice, yep. hitting on sixes at strength four. Go on, Josh. So let's see if we can do anything here. Okay. So one, one cocked. One do cocked. You want, do I call Oh, that's one? fine. That's fine. All right. So you've got strange hand and beast's ear. Okay. Um, and we'll go through what all that means as we do wounds on them. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you strength four, and the toughness of the uh, level two line is toughness ten. Ten. So with strength four, that means I'm looking at sixes. Yeah. And no other modifiers, really. So that's fine. And you didn't get a perfect hit because uh, you've got crazed, which that's fine. We don't yeah. need to consider that. Yeah. So yeah, uh, which one? Uh, let's see. Which one's the better choice? Uh, let's go with the beast ear first. Okay. So for the beast ear, for five. five. Not enough. Fails. Not. So it's got a reaction. You yep. see there that says failure. Oh yeah. So the reaction is it jumps backward without turning. Move the monster one space directly away from the attacker. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like that way. That way. And I lose the other hit. Uh, and you lose the other hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That's a shame. Could have been worse. That's okay. That's okay. Because okay. the other one had a reaction where it would have done a basic attack if you had failed. So uh, of the two fails, that one's the the, yeah. the least of the uh, your worries. Yeah. But you can still move. Yeah. And what I'm thinking of doing is if I move one, two, three, and Four then I will squares, surge. Sorry, yeah. And then you can spend a point to surge. Yeah, that's a great spend idea. Spend a point to surge and swing. Now, what does surge do again? So surge is another survival action, and it gives you another uh, activation you can use. So you can use that for combat ah. or anything else that requires an activation. So, so you're going to hit him. Yeah, I get another free swing at it, essentially. There you go. So I'm just going to play ping pong with it. <laughs> so again, it's hitting on sixes, three dice. Yeah, nothing incredibly special. But the important thing with the way I've moved here, Sam, is I've moved in such a way that I'm still in this, yeah. this tall grass if it comes after me. So let's see. One hit. One, One hit. hit. Yeah. What do we get? Fuzzy groin. Yay! <laughs> um, go on then. So looking for a six. Six. A wound. Not a critical, um, because you need to get a lantern ten to get a critical. Yeah. I see. And if you, so if you. If it has a critical hit, or um, it, then it also means uh, you ignore all the reactions. Mm. So that means that's a hit, sorry, and we remove an AI card. Yeah. It mm -hmm. goes to the wound stack, so it's got yeah. one less AI card in yes. there. That was good. And ah, no, I need to roll for that surge because of my. F or no, oh, he you... doesn't have full leather armor, so he no. will just lose one and be yeah. on three. Okay. Um, hmm. There's no mood cards in play. No, uh, no. I um, could either do a rawhide headband as Eve's activation, or I could yep. do a cat eye circlet on the uh, hit location. At this point, I don't think we've got a. Um, I don't think we've got a trap coming up, so I think no. it's better to look at what AI cards are there, so we can control what attacks we're getting rid of. Yeah. Also, I want to have a look. So for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would need Eve to maybe move out of the way of. Lemon, yep, that's so a good I plan. So let's in. let's. Eve, first of all, spend. Oh, she doesn't need to spend survival to do this. What am I doing? No, no she just does her action. Okay, so that means we look at the top two AI cards yep. Vicious yeah. Claw or Grasp. Oh, Grasping, a nice one. Uh, we could do with getting rid of that, I think. So okay. let's do that. Okay. And then move out the way. She's going to end up there, so she's still out of line of sight of the yep. monster. And that's her activation and movement done. Okay, so I'll have Lilith go one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And stab with the king spear from where she is. Yep, which is a pretty good shot. So it's uh, two dice again, needing sixes. This time on strength three. Uh, yes. Or do I go in with the scrap sword because I've got the movement, and it hits on a five. 
Have you got any other bonuses there? Not really. No, no, not really. See, we haven't taken out our best characters for this one particularly because we're wanting to try and save them for like harder fights down the road. Because mm. uh, the one thing we've noticed is the uh, the actual length of the campaign has now increased to thirty lantern years. Yeah, um, I think you're fine where you are with the king spear. All right, uh, two dice then. Uh, yep. Yeah, oh, go. right. Sorry, I've got ones in front of me. If I would look at the table, that would be useful. Uh, one of the four. No. Okay. Not a uh, surge for another attack. So I will roll one dice. Yep. See if I keep my survival on a six plus. I do yep. not. No, but, but then I get got two, two dice more attacks. For another swing at. Uh, nine and and nine seven. And seven. So that's two hits. Okay, what have we got? We've got Im Glorious Main, which is Impervious, and Beast Link. So an Impervious one, if you if you wound it, or if you hit there, you can't wound it. But if you critical when you wound on it, you do get a critical wound that you I can see, do. And that I has see. Um, other effects. So you might as well just go with Glorious Main first, just for yeah. if you can do it. For giggles. Yep, go on. Die. No, no. lantern, no. so that goes. And the next one? For three. Uh, three, yeah. and your strength three, so it's six, so it fails to wound. So there's no, the reaction there is if you wound, so it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, Sam, you still have to go. Over to me. Yeah. Uh, now, let's see. I can't, because I'm wielding a club, I can't move in and hit him. You I, can't, yeah, you have to spend a movement action as well as your activation to attack. But yeah. you could Huge -ass club. essentially dash. Oh, hold on, I just remembered yeah. something. Because you've got, we've got a new item that we've also kind of cheated and yeah. took one yeah. Off, yeah. which is stone noses. Let's just put that under yeah. the thing. Show it people. off. So this says, on arrival, you gain plus one survival and plus one uh, insanity. Now, arrival is a new... Um, uh, how can you say status? Status uh, event. Uh, trigger. Trigger. Mm. So you gain plus one survival and plus one insanity. So technically, you're already you're backed up to. You should have had an extra survival I point. See. You will. Yeah. No, no, but uh, the insanity. Oh yeah. The mark. And you will have plus one insanity as well. So nice. don't scrub off the insanity. Add yeah. to it the insanity. That's what I'm doing. Good. Okay. Good. Um, so I'm at two survival, yeah. two insanity. So you yeah. could you could spend a survival point now, mm -hmm. or well, you can spend the survival point to get the dash action yeah. and move into space, and then you can use your normal normal survive, uh, normal movement action and your activation to tri to activate your club yeah. mm. and smack him. I will definitely do that. Okay, uh, roll the d10 to see if you use that survival. Yeah, let's take a Six look. Plus. No, oh. you lose it. So you're back down to one survival. That's still okay. It okay. does make the... the the Bone Club wielder a little difficult to use. Yeah. Uh, you've got now. Uh, so my Bone Club is on 265. So two dice, mm -hmm. needing sixes, strength five. Wait just one moment. Oh. Eve is going to spend a. Um, sorry, where's a, where did the pencil go? We had a pencil. You've oh, stolen okay, one, you've stolen it. Um, <laughs> I have two characters, I need two pencils. She's going to spend uh, a survival point now. Uh huh. She's going to use her leader ability to encourage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which normally gets everyone to stand, but up. the reason I'm doing it is everyone gains a speed token. Oh. Until okay. the end of the round. So the reason I want to do that is so that you can have. I should have done it before yeah. you've even attacked. I forgot, but. Uh, it won't matter for these two because uh, they've already gone. But you can get a. Uh, but she can do that every time she. Whenever I encourage yeah. a survivor. So I'm mm. encouraging you, so you've got plus one. Speed. So now you're at speed three. With speed your club. three. So three attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hitting on sixes. Hitting on sixes. Let's see how we do. Ooh, oh, got a I got a hit. critical. So it's a perfect hit in yeah. this oh, case. Perfect hit. Sorry. So what do you hit? Uh, the beast scalpular Sc deltoid. Okay. So you just need to roll to wound. Now you're at strength. Five on this weapon. I am indeed. It's but a big, you hefty thing. Have a monster tooth necklace. Yeah, that's plus one strength, and you've got two red affinities that unlocks a further plus one strength. So you're actually on strength six. You need fours to wound. Yep. Fours to wound. Let's uh, see how on this. Just one, one. On one dice. Sorry. On one dice. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh it does a critical. Yes. Lovely. Excellent. And it has a critical effect. So the critical stops all the reactions. Mm -hmm. So we deal a wound. And. It's at minus one movement because you uh, crack its shoulder. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Yeah, 
the newest addition to the to Beast Hold shows his worth. Yeah. So that's that was a really good thing to have done. So that slows it down uh, yeah. for us. Uh, that's it, I think. Um, yeah, and I think we definitely got rid of that one that we didn't want because of Sam there. Yeah. So it's the monster's turn. Yep. So that's okay. thrown to me. And what does it get? A vicious claw. Random survivor in range. So that's all of them. So yeah. for that, uh, we and what is its range? Uh, in range now is movement six. So I you see. can pick any of them that's in range. So I'll roll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight. So it's going for Joshua. Which is perfect. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he's in the tall grass. So it's move and attack. So mm -hmm. to do that, we're going to do that. Okay. Is there a break in there? There is a break. So if you wanted, you could spend a survival point to dash out the way. I think I will because it still has that cunning. It does have the cunning. So if you do that, you can uh, you can have it follow you off into the darkness. Mm. Or is it worth doing? So that? if you bring it, like, say, either that way, because you need to keep it in range of your spear. Yeah. You see, if I go one, two, three, four, five, bring it to here. Yeah. That brings it as close as we can, but it will hit, more likely hit me. I think I won't. You're going to stand there. I'm just going to stand there because I'm hoping it will miss me. The okay. other thing is, it's because it's the reset. Of the round, so yeah. We've had the monster round, and then we had the survivors round. So the rounds reset, so we can now use our survival actions are all set again. So if you wanted, you need to spend like two survival to surge and to get your movement to activate your club. So your club, unfortunately, is powerful, but it's a bit slow. Exactly. I don't know whether yeah. it is a bit of a tricky one with this monster. So. If you wanted to attack. You've got the monster tooth necklace. You could always use fist and tooth, which is your basic weapon there. Mm. Which you always have. Which is two attack, uh, two speed two, eight hits on eight. Has no strength, but because you've got the monster tooth necklace and it's unlocked, you're actually hitting with strength two, which mm -hmm. is still pretty good. And it is plus one luck when I attack with it. Yeah, and your speed token's gone as well. Let's just do okay. That. So yeah, where are you going to move? Uh, I'm not. You're going to just I'm take just it. Just going to stand my ground and hope that it misses me. Well, remember if you. Oh yeah, so it's going to move there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just I'll let it take its swing. Okay. Yeah. Look, does the thing have plus one speed? It does have plus one speed. So yeah. This is a speed three attack, and it does plus one damage when it hits. It's at damage two, remember? That'll be okay. So I don't know. Maybe you do want to lure it away. Oh, we... I'm, I'm just thinking as it stands, it's it's needing sixes to hit, is it? Um, have so you got monster it... grease? Yeah, I've got mo monster grease, and I'm in the grass. Uh, have you got anything else? No. Oh, well, oh, damn it, it was the rawhide vest that isn't unlocked here. Well, actually, technically... No, you haven't, because you haven't no. got blue affinity to no, unlock no, it. Blue yeah. affinity, so it would be hitting on fives. Do I want to? Every attack will be doing two damage. Yeah, that could be... And you don't have full armor up. on this person. I yeah, think so I will spend away. it. So it'll go down to two. And move five squares. Yeah. So if I just run one, two, three, four, five. And then the line moves six to keep pace. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's got so me. it's still getting It's it. still going to get you. Uh, so actually then you are technically right. There's no point to do, yeah. do the surge. So give you back that survival. There's no point in doing yeah. that. Okay, you're just going to have to take it on the chin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Good these luck. Fives. These fives. You oh, got two. two hits. Oof. But you could always spend to dodge one of these. Uh, yeah, we'll wait and where, see, we'll see where we go. Uh, hand and body. Hand and body. Uh, mm. Body's okay. Hand is. You don't have any armor on your hand. So. Yeah, so I'll spend one to dodge the one on the hand. Yeah, so that goes. And you take two damage to the body. Okay. Uh, so. so it takes one off. His armor gets reduced by one and takes one on his first uh, light yep. health. Which is grand. And then after damage, you gain a bleed token. That's okay. So bleed works that once you acquire five bleed tokens, you die because oh, you bleed out. I see. Yeah. yeah. And can you uh, regain health during the fight? Oh, there are ways yeah, of doing. Yeah. Uh, well, he's actually rocking around with bandages. Excellent. Which allows me to remove two bleeding tokens from myself or an adjacent survivor. So wait, Joshua was the healer. Uh, no, he In just he's yeah, a little more cautious. That's what I mean. So yeah. now it does grab. Yeah. Which is place target not down so. Place target, not down survivor, in front. Hold on. If there are any adjacent survivors, target one rand uh, randomly. Uh -huh. There's only one in space. Yep. Move the white line 
uh, a full move of the white elephant directly away from all threats. So it'll be in that direction. So basically, so move the line six squares ahead. Two, three, six. Place him in front. So he's running off with him. And you take one. Uh, you take two damage. Yeah. To my body. Body. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. But so, so uh, that is finishing off my heavy injury. Yeah. And taking me one beyond. Yeah. So we now need to roll on the uh, body damage. Yeah. Two d six, isn't it? Uh, or is it one D6? It's just one D10. Or, sorry, D10. Yeah. Uh, let me find the... Uh... Yeah, we're too used to working with the D6s, aren't we? Yeah. Go on then, roll for the body. Uh, okay. Yeah. For oh, nine. Nine. that's all right. Uh, collapse lung. Uh, oh, yeah, gain, that's all right. <laughs> you gain um, one bleed token. Okay. So I'm glad we brought the bandages along. Yeah. And you gain uh, a minus one movement token. So that's... Um, uh, where's... Movement? He's knocked the wind out of me. I'm uh, sure you can walk it off. There we go. Crawl it off. And that's only for the... It's a minus one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's just for this fight. That could have been worse. Um, could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Mm. So now it's Argo. Um, so I can immediately do... For you, I'll, I could spend a survival action and encourage Joshua yeah. to stand up. Yeah. And that'll give him uh, a speed token. Yeah. Uh, for a temporary speed token oh, for this round. Where so here? One, two, three, four. Five. So I'm going to do that now. Ah. I'm going to do that now between uh, actions. Yeah. So that's, okay, so, so he stands, he stands up, up and he temporarily gets plus one speed as well. So yeah, I'll, keep, nice. I'll keep hold of it. Okay. Because you've already got a speed token there for the fight. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. Okay. Um, everybody else is quite slow. So you see, this is the bad thing because this lion may just focus me now that I'm away from everybody. Yeah. Uh, that is a. Quite well, a I think problem. I can get so, uh, Lilith. One, two, three, four, five. And Sam can get in there. I'm going to do uh, something also ring. else with Eve. She's done her survival action to encourage. Yeah. I'm going to use her activation to rawhide headband first good, to see what's going thought. on. Um, okay, we've got a mood card. That's uh -huh. okay. Um, oh, no, that isn't good. And chomp. Right, we really need to get rid of that mood card. So I'm going to put that at the top. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll activate with... Oh, did I give anyone... Uh, Joshua's the one with the bone darts. Anybody else have bone darts? I've got bone darts, but I've done my stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I think what's what's going to have to happen is Joshua, from where he is, one, two, three, four, has to stop because of the minus one speed. But he will take a swing yeah. at the, the lion with four dice hitting on sixes. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, come on, you can get that tail off him at least. <sighs> Well, we'll see. You see, the the thing is, um, we want to get into these two spaces. Yeah. Because that's its blind spot. So that's plus ones to hit when yeah. we're in the blind spot. Yeah. And some of the attack cards can't see yeah. you while you're in the blind spot. So if I hadn't got that minus one movement, I would have been laughing yeah. there. Yeah. Anyhow. I keep uh, forgetting that you can't count diagonals in this. So. Yeah, it's an odd one. So let's see what we get for sixes. Uh, oh, two. two. Two hits, okay. I'll take that. One, two. Uh, do the beast femur first because it doesn't have a reaction. Okay, on a six. Uh, Three, four. Yep, that's right. Six. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ten. Critical. 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 You gain plus one on your crazed. If you look at crazed on a perfect hit. <laughs> yep. So oh, no, sorry. It was a perfect hit. This was a. Sorry. Uh, that was a critical a to wound. wound. Okay, so it's a wound. Yep. Bye bye AI card. <laughs> and. Um, it gains another minus one movement token. Oh wow! Okay, so now yes. we're dealing. That means you can't run off with we're them any further. It. Yes, excellent. And we get a random white li one random white line resource. How long does it take to fingers take... crossed for love juice? How long does it take to take down the uh, line? What's his life? Uh, so the it AI has AI fifteen hits. I see. Yeah. And so we've we... done. The real so yeah so basically we kill out the AI deck and then it's left on its uh, basic action. The problem is some of the the cards can interact with each other, so it mm. will cycle and start doing multiple actions. So if you get into a, a circular cycle, the line could just go and go and go and munch. Got you. some white fur out of him. Nice. 
Cool. Okay. And then we still got this other one to do. So again, you yeah. need a six. All right. Oh, Nine. Indeed. So yes. excellent. Another Beauty. winning. Done. Okay. So that's the the mood and the chomp gone. Uh yes, that will be. Lovely. Okay. Um, Everybody else, I'm thinking, needs to just get themselves set up. Yes. Uh, so possibly. Fact, I'm going to be sneaky. It's got oh. a movement now of five, so yeah. it means you can plan around that. Yeah. What I think I'm, I'm thinking of is Lilith may dash to get up into that blind spot and stab it. Uh, one, two, and Sam could do the same with his last. I, with well, my I might want to keep that last survival for dodges. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Although if you get up next to Lilith, I can pass you the crowd think, spider, which can give you plus three. Yeah, that would be good. So maybe you want Lilith to, if we plan ahead on what's going on with this, maybe Lilith and Josh and um, uh, Lilith and Sam, maybe they both need to get into that grass. Yeah. Um, because we need to lure it. Back, I was I, I eyeing up that grass mm. myself. So is that a good idea? I don't know. Um, up to you. I think so. Um, Keep himself a bit of protection as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Joshua is hanging out there on his own. So if it goes after him, it's just going to drag him away, isolate him, mm -hmm. and murder him. That's a true as well. So if we can get someone else at least up and into position where it has the option of another target. Yeah. Is good because then it spreads out the damage. Mm. Not to mention, if it's you or me, it's one of our armoured people. True enough. Okay, I can move, start moving In up. In fact, he didn't spend anything this turn, did he? He moved, he attacked, he hasn't, spent, he hasn't tried to surge. So, well, he could either surge or he could dash to get back into everybody. Uh, it's got movement five. That's actually... Yeah. Actually, yeah. We, should, we should lure yeah. it towards us. It has to full yeah. move. It's so not going to be able to move this turn to reach any of us. So he will spend and bring himself to one. So the advantage we have is that its movement is Dash. the same as most of our so guys. One, yeah. As long as we stay, Three. at least the counterweighted axe and the spear, as long as we stay one space away from it, uh -huh. it can't attack ever because yeah. it doesn't have the movement to, to yeah. reach well, us. Right now it can reach. Uh, so actually, him, if you so moved full five to there. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking. Oh, don't worry. Oh, no, no, but I'm at minus one. One, two. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, it's either one, be behind. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you want to be in the grass. Be in the grass is better. Okay. So everybody else can just set themselves up. Yeah. So may, mostly just move into everyone moves yeah. into grass. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, maybe you want to stand a stay stay a square back because remember it's got movement five. If it targets you, it's going to end up yeah stopping. Here. Yeah. So actually, you, you're fine. Yeah. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. Be, stay stay back. Want to be there? Yeah. And then in the grass. In yeah. the grass. If it goes well, don't for I you, want to be near Lilith to get that crab? So. I'll, I'll take care of it. Because okay. remember, if you were, the thing is with you, you've got a weapon which has to use up movement. So yeah. you you're kind of hoping that it comes after you, mm -hmm. tries to go for you, messes and then up, misses. misses. It'll do a grab and deal damage to you because, but you've got armor. Yeah. yeah. And, and then you'll get up, and then we'll encourage you. You'll get plus one speed. You'll be hitting with three dice with the bone club, and hopefully you'll yeah. be. Smacking so some is. shades of uh, lion, lion to dust. Yeah. I'm the bait, but I'm also the hook. And we, we have to admit, some survivors are bait. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm a bait with a big, big club. Well, there are three classes I've seen for this. Or as Warren would say, I'm a bait with a big, big oh, club. Oh, what you can do, because you've moved and you've not attacked, you can activate your rawhide headband. So let's yeah, yeah. the cards. That was the other thing I was. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you'll learn as we get this. Let's so take a look at this. We've got Bloody Claw, closest survivor with the most bleed tokens. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Or last survivor to wound in. Ra it's either way, it's you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, in range, though. Uh, so it will reach you. Um, Bloody Claw, Revenge. Bloody Claw, Revenge. I think you're better with Bloody Claw. Okay. Um, I, will, I will bow to your mastery of the game, Chris. Let's see how this okay. goes. Right. So, uh, monster. Eve, Eve's have done all done yeah. stuff. We've done everything. So, yeah. so, does it now go over to. Uh, yeah. yeah, the monster yeah. Is comes around to me. So, Bloody Claw, closest mm -hmm. survivor with most bleed tokens, we've yeah. already acknowledged. Yeah. Um, so, move up to base base. So, it's movement five. Yeah. So, I'm going to dodge. So it, 
goes. Well, you will dodge. Yeah. One. Well, no, no. Sorry. If I uh, two, three, four. If I dash, can it move into the grass like that? If you dash, you I can could, get out of range. You could dash to get out of range and draw it further towards yeah. us. So where yeah. was it? It was there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you dash this turn. Yeah. So I'll, I'm out, now out of survival. And what you want to draw it towards this person? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. And if I go one, two, three, four, could it get me here? Um, I think out? you can do quite, something more clever than that. So I think one, well, one two, see. three, four, five. So it would still hit me there. What if you went back this way? Uh, you see, if it goes one, two, three, four, five, it's there. So you need to be uh, there. I yeah. know uh, you need to be there. Yeah, I think. Yep, and that's enough. So okay. send me there. No, it is there. It is there. So you go there. Yeah. It okay. moves forward. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Stops there. It fails. Can't reach. And that's the end of its. And action. that's what we want it. Right. So, as you can see, Sam, there's an element of you. The part of the game is obviously using the survivors in the right way to do attacks. Yes. There's a control element in how you use the health. Uh, you stack the health card, uh, health location card, hit locations card. Sorry, in the right order. And also pre-planning the AI cards and running away at the right time is the best thing. So it is very much like hunting because you're trying yes. to corner the monster and control its almost its instinct. It's very clever how it has got that that interplay, that teamwork going on, and how it's brought that to, yeah. to life on the board. It gives you the chance to actually feel like you're outsmarting the game. That's true. Which yes. is something that so many games could do. So much better. This one does it flawlessly. Mm. So, our turn. Yeah, is it a good idea we sort out Sam here? Because if you have a look, Sam could easily move uh, two, three, four, five into the blind spot here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now he's got a big club. Yeah. So he'd be then hitting on fives. I could use my last survival to try and hit to it to trigger it. Yeah. And you're hitting, and you've got strength of uh, five, six, seven, so you're wounding on three ups. Yeah. Because you've got the mm. monster's necklace. So. That could do it. Is that one. what you want to do? Is that a good yeah. idea? I'm just. I'm, I've got to present you good. ideas because no, you learn as you go. Yeah, I understand. Should we maybe have a look should, at the hit locations? Because we are starting to work through it, and I'm nervous. Of you want me to cat eye circle it rather than encourage? Ah. Uh, <sighs> now, how would the encourage help me right now? So, if I encouraged you you would get plus one speed temporarily. Mm -hmm. That would be good. We could get more hits in. But also, we're already a good way through the yeah, hit location we're, we're deck. So there's and yeah, there, there is a point where... So do we look at the next three hit locations and control it? So yeah. before you even mm. move there, we've got to consider where, whether, we, whether we have Eve do her thing. Mm. I think we have to. Yeah, it might be. We've been lucky so far, but we're, we're about halfway through that deck. So Eve will activate. She uses cat eye circlet, and we've got straining neck. Mm -hmm. Interesting chance of killing the monster outright there. That would be good. Clever ploy. <laughs> Interesting, and beast knee, which obviously means we're going to do this. Yep. Yeah. Now, what would that trap card uh, do? So the trap card comes out. All your attacks are cancelled. The survivor is doomed. They can't spend survival. The hit location deck is shuffled, and the monster gets to attack you. That's painful. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad I called that when I did. Yeah. That, that was... Was that your nightmares from last night? <laughs> <night? laughs> oh! oh Precognitive nightmares. <laughs> so we've done that. Yeah. Eve's activated. She's done Catlight Circlet. Yeah. She's going to move. Now I'm going to do something. You're th going to think, you're crazy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move there. Okay. Why? The monster often... The white line with its grab yeah. is move away from all threats. Yeah, we know surrounded it. Bingo. So I we're see. all the way around it. So, so, so at least we're, at least she's close. So if we need to, she can actually go up the board, uh -huh. and f if Block there's any force back, it, it may yeah. go. Oh, actually, my nearest target is that one, mm -hmm. or you know, we got, we've got a bit more control. We're starting to yeah. corner it. Yeah. So that's done. Uh -huh. Now let's hit it with the club. Now let's go hit it with so the big club. So your movement brings you to that. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Spend a survival. Spend my last survival. But before you do, roll that. Yeah, see let's if see if we get it. Hey! It regenerate it. It keeps it. Okay. Activate with the survival point, with your combat action. You've got two did, dice. Uh, two dice. I'm not plus one in yep. speed because you don't want three speed because one of the third hit would have yeah, been that. Exactly. Trap. So 
Uh, you're on sixes, but still fives to hit. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh no! Well, that sucked. My my luck of dice rolls strikes again. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. best laid plans of cats and poor survivors. Yeah. <laughs> um, this right. is actually good for me now, for Joshua. This is why I'm a dog person. So if I activate Joshua, he can go one, two, three, and four. Oh, Sam, how far did you go there? It went I five. went five. Ah. You can't get into the blind spot. Yeah, I can't can... get Joshua in, but I can get Lilith in. If you want to do Lilith, then yeah. the blind spot. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And so Lilith will now stab it in the butt. Mm. Yeah. Looking for sixes. Yeah. Hit it in the vulnerables. Is it sixes? It's uh, six fives. Base. Now I'm in the blind spots of fives. Yep. Okay. Dong dong. Fives. And we know what these are already. Yep. Okay. Go for the neck. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to go for yep. the neck. Huh. Oh. oh! No. The other one? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Seven. So that is a wound, isn't it? Yep. 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 Good. Not a critical. Look. Thankfully, no reaction on that. No. Good. Okay. Such a shame to miss the Now neck. we know exactly what is coming up next. Yes. So we need to plan appropriately. Yeah. I have a suggestion for you. I will accept your yeah, suggestion. Yeah, let's hear it. it right. Let's hear what it is. We know that when it triggers its trap on these on the white line, it does a basic action, okay? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be uh, basic action is this, so it's going to move an attack. Okay, mm -hmm. and it moves and attacks the target that obviously deals the wound, hits yes. it. What do we have? We have bone darts there. Yeah. Why don't you move away and bone dart it? Ah. Uh, hold on, he's slow. Oh. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I could surge with Lilith, attack again, trigger the trap, and she could probably take it on the chin for a basic attack. Oh, I'm content to do it. Risky. Um, it's risky. Um, I'm content to risk it. Eve, we have to take Eve care of it. Eve could potentially do it from where she is, but could, then she'd also have to move. Could Sam then? Could old man Sam there surge and hit? And he's in the grass, so he's a little you more like. You need the two actions to. to or swing. you do bone uh, fist and tooth. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I could hit fist and tooth. I'm thinking it's the. Lilith with the scrap sword is going to have to do this. One. She's also got. A, she's also. Oh, you can't spend survival, so you can't do. Um, you won't be able to dodge. I'm go just, on then. Go yeah, on. Yeah. Go on. All right. It. So I'll, I'll roll to see if she she burns this survival. Yeah. Yes, she does. It's okay. Fair You've got the crab yeah. spiders. Yeah. <laughs> so also, there's a kind of a, a risk uh, mitigation element. So you you kind of almost like yeah. you know you someone has to take it on the chin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to deliberately do this with the scrap sword because I'm hitting on fours. Oh yeah, clever. So you can definitely make sure you can trigger this. Down near it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There the it It's just the one. Just enough. Yeah. Okay. So we take the trap. So turns to face. Yep. The beastie will turn. Attacks. Uh, yeah. Okay. So like I say, it's a basic action. Yes. At plus one speed and at plus one damage. Yeah. Accuracy is twos. Do you have anything else? You have plus Monster one Grease and the raw hide. Raw hide. So four. Fours. Uh, all, all hit. All hit. Oh. Uh, That's not the nice. Yeah. So, all hit. Yeah. Oh, Let's okay. See, so. It's a full spread. <laughs> it's a full spread. <laughs> so That's the best head, result. Waist and hands. So that basically eliminates all the all the armor that was on those areas. Head. Because if that had hit like head head. We'd Weird. be crying. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now we shuffle these. Yep. So he's saying she'd lose her head about it. Oh yeah, she more yeah. than that, mate. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm here all week. Yeah. Now for part two of my cunning plan. <laughs> so now we've done that. Hopefully, as long as the trap isn't like yeah. right on the top, odds yeah. of that is low. We're back to being quite free to attack. Yeah. And guess what? Joshua hadn't went, so he can now just walk into the blind spot and take a swing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Brilliant. So, okay. Joshua, for two. So actually, in some respects, sometimes triggering the trap yeah. at the right time is actually is also knowing when to do that. Yeah. Quite a good and thing. And how who who can take that the best? Yeah. yeah. And clearing space for your other survivors. Yes. To get in. So him on two dice, three dice actually, because he's plus one speed on sixes. Yeah. I laugh if we draw this directly again. Oh, oh, all three. Okay. Nice. 
Feeling frisky, are we, Mr. Joshua? Oh, we're going for the groin again. Hey. <laughs> going for the beast flank and... Beast heel. Oh, excellent. Right. Um, I want to take his maw out. Let's go with... Are you sure you don't want to get him in the crackers? Well, let's go for the crackers as always. <laughs> All right. There's the no crackers. reaction on that. For a while, Fails. No. Oh, come on. At least there's um, no reaction. Four. four. What's his strength? Uh, four. four. No bonuses. Ugh. Not enough. Needing last six one. Five. five. Fails to wound, so nothing. Oh. Hey, you! Hey, you! Yeah. Um, and he's not in a position to surge or anything. No, no, he um, is out. Okay. okay. Monster's um, turn. That is it, yeah, it's monster turn. Right, and control goes now to Joshua. Yeah. What do we get? Smart, Smart cat. cat. Oh, oh, okay. Reveal the top 10 AI cards one at a time. Put the first two Moo cards revealed into play, then shuffle the deck. Well, that could be painful. Okay, so uh, reveal. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five. Oh. What's that do? Uh, that one is a zone of death. So that is if you move into that, sp when a survivor moves into that space, stop their movement, they gain the priority target token. Uh, and then you discard this card, and then the monster performs a basic action. I see. So, uh, but don't worry, we might yeah. be able to resolve it. Um, yeah. Keep going. And then I need to shuffle the rest. So yeah. how many have done? I've done six, seven, haven't yeah. I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven. One. Two, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, and nine, and that isn't a mood, so there's no more moods. Good. That's, That's good. So yeah. a mood card is... is a, a change in its behaviour. Yeah, but it also yeah. it's one less wound you have to do to the monster while it's in play. Yeah. I see. So we, ha we have the Whisker Harp there just in case there's a really nasty one, because you can use it pretty effectively on the line to get rid of them, and other monsters less mm. effectively. But generally, it's sometimes good just to leave them. Right. And it doesn't do anything else after that, does it? No. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. If yes. We really want to put the pain in quickly before it attacks yeah. one of us with its cunning. I think we definitely do. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. So we've done that. Uh -huh. Then there's a we've break. Done that. Uh -huh. And there's a break, and then there's a break. And then you archive this card as well. So we've also weirdly removed another wound. Yeah. Nice. So... Kitty Do we want on the break someone to surge? Um, hmm. I'm actually quite Remember, happy for Lilith to surge because she's got that, that five up. You can't because you've got your problem with your club. Yeah. yeah. Lilith can. I'm finding that bone and club she's a the bit only one can. So she will surge. Because uh, uh, Joshua's out. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I would yeah, say, go yeah. on. Go for it. Yeah. Let's try and get some... Pain it. How many right. attacks? It's two attacks. Well, I'm seeing if I burn the. Oh, I'm the sorry. Yeah, go on. First. I do not. She's okay. And, and that's archive. Two dice attacks. So this is archive as well. It doesn't the go to the wound stack, so it can't. Some cards hey. can really get wounds back. I'll just point this out. Something. So you've hit with both, yeah? Two, yeah. I was just going to say this says archive, so it means it goes back into the box. Yeah. Oh. So it's so. Sometimes there'll be things that allow you to, like, it has uh, Lick Wounds mm. as a, as a card that the lion has. Yeah, get stuff back. So it can't get this back anyway. So this is a wound that is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Gone yeah. forever. Right, but you hit, hit twice. Where did I hit it? BC here, Glorious Main. It doesn't matter which order. Do Glorious uh, Main first. Yeah, let's go Glorious Main, just for, for giggles. Come on, go for a crit. No, no. Oh, well. anti crit. And next one. Definite. Seven. Yes! yes. Uh, so that's a wound. Uh... The reaction's on a failure. Yep, so that's another wound gone. Another AI doing, done. Doing good, doing good. Another one back to death. Uh, then it is, because you do it on the flow, and we now, that's when we would archive that card. Yeah. It is the end of its turn, so cunning does trigger. If there are any adjacent survivors, target one at random. There are three survivors, target one at random. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Yep. Okay, four, five, six. It is yeah. her. That's okay. Lilith. So it's Lilith. So it's grab. Yeah. Which is move directly away from all other. So which it's going to be this way. This which way. is a good direct. Yeah. Yeah. Can't so get away too far. One, two, three, four, four five. five. And, and she goes in front, in front and takes two damage to the Foot. legs. Oh, 
That's which fine. is good. So it's a full, yeah. like I say, full so spread of damage. She's full she's, yeah. armor are fantastic. She's in this game. being our tank. Yeah. So yeah. she it grabbed her by the leg and has just dragged her away. Yeah. Right. Oh, also, did I lose this? Uh, no, because you got the that was for the that's for the turn. Uh, it was the speed token that was temporary, uh, which yeah. I've got here just in case I I encourage someone. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it does have reach anyway. That's okay. Who wants to get? So what I could do is again, Eve could spend a survival and encourage her to stand up. I would love that. You would get the temporary plus one speed yeah. token as well. Yep. Yeah. Which would be good for the king spear, making yep. it speed three. So yeah. Well, I mean, like uh, as it stands, my best bet is still this scrap sword, just because it's got the better to hit. Yeah. Um, the move. Oh, hold on. We've got the move card. When a survivor moves into a space, that's quite useful for you because I don't have to move. I just you, stand you up. You can and just swing. stand up and attack. Yeah. Or okay. Okay. I could encourage yeah. myself. No. No, you, uh, I'll encourage to give you the plus one speed. Okay. I'm going to do that now. That's okay. her survival action out of, out of phase. Okay, so from where we are here... So we'll temp temp stand. She stands up and gets temporary plus one speed, which I'll just hold yep. to know we've got it. And Then we have to choose who to attack with. Um, well, the lion doesn't move, and then it just stops your movement, right? Yeah. So I, I might just send Joshua. But remember, well. it will trigger this thing. So maybe... Yep. I need to maybe Sa Sam should go in because he's got the higher uh, he's got more armor what I'm gonna no, what I'm gonna do with Eve uh -huh. she hasn't done her actual normal action yet uh -huh. so she's gonna activate her whisker heart uh -huh. oh you're gonna remove it if I roll a six plus oh let's see it come on no oh, so no, she fails that not. and yeah. then she's gonna move into oh I see there okay. so that okay. in range yeah well she's out of range of that but she's she failed to get rid of the mood so well if, if sam moves who do we think can take the damage to probably sam? probably old man sam there yeah and if sam moves to here how many spaces away is that zone of death uh four four so one two three four so sam you would need to move to here mm -hmm. but actually that works to your advantage why is that we draw it back towards us again it'll move attack you yeah Someone encourages you to stand up, uh -huh. and then you can attack with your bone club, with that, and that's your movement and fight action at the yeah. same time. So we're kind of doing you a favor. Yeah. Okay. On, then. Sounds good to me. Um, oh no, but what? you will have moved to. Yeah, do I'll have moved that. to do this. So yeah. Oh. I still have one survival left. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Let's, th yeah. This, this will be planning for the next round, though. So this it does it do a basic action now. Well, if it does a basic action at its turn, it's going to attack so We need to Sam do this. Sam gets the priority yeah. token, and it does a basic action against him, yeah? Yeah. Right, so before priority. Sam moves, should I have Lilith attack then? Um, yeah, actually, um, yes. Yeah, so that'll be three dice. She's going to attack without moving. Leaving five. Okay. All that'll of them hit. And oh, a perfect hit, perfect which hit. means plus four strength for the rest of the attack. Oh, yeah, because it's a scrap sword. Nice. nice. Right. Three hits, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so who's who's the priority? Oh, we need that Ribs. at the moment. Yeah. More. That's the one I want to crit. And tricep. Okay. That's if you wound. Yeah. Which should happen. So, it, does any of these cancel? I think if the. You shouldn't be interesting. I think I think you need to go with. What's your strength? Mm. Three plus four is seven. Yeah. So you're wounded on threes. Yeah. Uh, let's go with that one. That's Beast not bad. Okay. Scrap swords. Yes. yes. Wound. One wound down. I saw the one no. there. It, it thought about it. More. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nothing else on that one. Another wound down. And the ribs. And the ribs. Oh, no plus one. You've got no plus one luck, so that wouldn't have no. made it critical. No. So it's normally a crit when you critical wound, it's on a lantern 10. Yeah. So luck increases your chance of doing that. I yeah, see. So if it, that was a fist in tooth attack, yeah. Yeah, it hits you on would have got the plus one. You luck. get the plus one. If a monster has luck, it decreases the chance of you critical. Yeah. So that's definitely a wound. Um, but it does. So there's a few things. First of all, I've got to remove a wound. Yeah. Then if the attacker does. has three plus understanding, no. Okay, done. No. Yeah. 
What would I have got? Uh, nice things, survival. <laughs> you oh, know. that would have been nice. Uh, right, so that's done, but you're not going to move because otherwise no. it would trigger this. No, I'm going to search. <laughs> I'll go again. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, between, it's between actions. Yeah, so search. Far, so far, I think Lilith has kind of carried this fight. Yeah, Lilith well, has been a bit of a boss. does happen. Yeah. All right, so see if I spend the survival. I do no. not. <laughs> nice. I still have the speed. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> so three again on fives. Oh, perfect one again. perfect hit. Holy Two words. hits. Beamer. One. Two. Uh, you you might row. So you may as well go with the femur because there's yep. no reaction. Uh, so on threes. Yep. Huh. Yep. Hey. And again. Huh. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. as well. Uh, that get, get minus one accuracy on the uh, lion now. So he's got a harder chance of hitting us. That's useful. That's um, very, very useful. So you know that, that scene in Rocky where Apollo Creed busts his eye open and he's bleeding down over his eye? That's yep. what I just did to the lion. <laughs> right. Who's activating next? It's got... Um, oh, wow. We're actually... Yep. We need to wound it three more times. I'm going to move. You're going to just uh, take yep. it on the chin. So you move um, one square forward. Yeah. You end Come your at movement. Come me, Kitty. Uh, and uh, you've you priority token. token. So you put that token under his base. Yep. So we know he's a priority target. Yep. And then discard alert. Mm -hmm. So that's discarded. So actually it gets that Four back wounds. as a wound. That's okay. And then it performs a basic action. So it turns. Yep. And goes one, two, three. Uh, well, we could go there. Yep, that would be good. And then it would turn to face. So yep. attack. Yeah. And it does basic action, which is... Um, Speed two, speed three, uh, twos to hit, threes, threes to, to hit. hit, threes to hit, fours, fives Five. to hit due to monster grease and that. Yep. Oh! Hey! <laughs> yes. Sucker! Sam lives! You see what I mean about this game? It is just built mm. so well. The engineering just works so well. Uh, the priority target token now goes because it's been resolved. Okay. All right. So does Sam get the rest of his action? I'm... Um, hold on. You just said it stops your movement. Uh, hold on. Uh, stop their movement. So yes. So technically, uh, if you surge, uh, not surge. If you if you dash yeah, yeah. to get the extra movement action, you can then use your unused combat action so far, and then you can club it in the yeah, face. That's the plan. That's <laughs> what I'm doing. Let's first see if you I. You literally walked up to it and went, "Get over here!" Yeah. And it missed completely, and no, then you're just... here, kitty, kitty. Bam! I've got whiskers. Yeah. Speed two, uh, remember? For us to see if I oh, use the yep. survival. No, it does. I do. Oh, so well. I lose my last survival. Who Worth cares? it though. This is going to be grand. Yep. So just speed two for this. Yeah. Yep. Six Sixes. Sixes. Well, let's hope this doesn't go the way of my last dice roll. Gets a hit. One. I got one. Yeah, got one. Strange hand. That's always a good one. Ooh, nice. Uh, strength is five, six, seven. Uh, needing threes. Come on. Yes. Critical. Crit critical. What nice. Um, this is ridiculous. <laughs> the amount of criticals. Um, Come, like one's going to be so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this has been our, one of our best lion runs so far. Okay, it's a level two, and yeah, it's a level two. Like yeah. we're not, we're not. We're not being wimps on this. No, no. Um, so you critical. So all the reactions are cancelled. Um, you hack off the monster's hand. Now you don't have any survival left, unfortunately. So you can't oh. treasure it and gain plus one permanent strength. Oh, that's yeah. a shame. But it does have a permanent injury of lost hand. Now permanent injuries affect certain AI cards. Yeah. Good. Um, does it affect that? Uh... Gr does it affect grab? Yeah. Um, you imagine no. they grab you with the hands or the teeth. Mm. Yeah. But that was good. Um, yeah. Okay. Joshua! <laughs> My good son. Would you care to take a swing? This I is awesome. I think you would. Hack off a slice of lion haunch. So, hitting on fives. Yep. Huh. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> perfect hit does nothing on this case. Oh. But it's a perfect hit because he's crazed. Oh yeah, so he gains an insanity. Yep. Yay! You hit the beast's back. Uh, all right, that's fine. This is it's bad if you don't fail it because it's so, going to run you over. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, uh, so, strength of four, no bonuses. Uh, six. Mm, yeah, sixes. Come on, baby. No, ah, no good. Fails. I'm, right. I'm about to become roadkill. 
grab, so the line moves forward um, five squares. One, two, three, four, five. You're grabbed, placed in front. Yep. Grab. That's okay, that means I'm in position to hit and him then, again with the club. Okay, move him over one, up. move him over one because it was in that, oh, that square there. And oh, it does two damage to your waist. Yes. Waist. Which you don't really mind. Yep. That's just yeah, that's fine. That's 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 perfectly fine. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Uh, is that the everyone? great thing is, Sam, you're no longer a threat because you're on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, it's it's AI card. Yeah. What's it got left? It's got vicious claw. Okay. Random survivor in range. Okay. So right. there are. I think that may, that's two... Eve who's the closest. Well, no, no random it's survivor, survivor in range. Survivor, Eve, that includes threat, even ones on the ground. Ones. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't say threat here. It says random yeah. survivor. Okay. Oh. So one, two, three. So it's those three. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, it's four, five, six. me. It's Eve. That's actually a fairly good result. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, so she's got gone. survival left. So the question is, do I want to die? Four. But He's just moonwalked back to her there. I know, no, no. So that's end up there. Its closest weight would be one, two, three, four to there. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, that's going to be hitting me on twos, hitting me on fours, or I could just walk away and, and lure it over, which makes our life easier. Yeah. Let's do that. Spends a survival to dash. Yeah. And I'm going to move to about here. I think one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's going to end there. So technically, I just need to move to there uh -huh. to be out, yep. out of base space. Yep. So that also means it doesn't trigger cutting. Um, and that means those cards are now uh, have to be shuffled. Yes. Which is me doing this for a bit. Uh, and then it's our turn. Um, right, what do we want to do? Um, Eve's from go. Where we are. Well, I'd like to stand up. I'm going to cat eye circle at that sucker first. Yes. Yeah, good shout. Because we have been burning through. Yep, oh, yeah. Oh, because we've only got. Okay, right. Um, uh, the beast paw, fleshy Ooh. gut. Oh, that's not nice. I'm going to do that. Okay, so there is. Th so we need someone that's actually got a low speed rating attacks to do stuff. Uh, I've got, both of mine have two. Yeah. Uh, mine has two as well. Uh, I yeah. think we should counterweight to Dax. Yeah, I'm thinking counterweight to Dax. And then try and like, bone dart him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I, no, but yeah. the person with the counterweight to Dax. Uh, well, I have an idea. Does Neve have bone darts? Can't she use them? Uh, they are kind of hard to hit with. There are sevens and you only get one die. I would send in the kind of way to act, I'd say go and for then it. feeling that, send in Lilith. Because even if you do one wound, and then the next time she does two, she's still got enough on her to actually take it on the chin. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. used to playing cautious in this, aren't Well, you? when you play on your own, you play cautious and you play a very optimised run, but you live dangerously, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Screw it, do it, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so... He will go one, two, three, and swing from the grass, because that way... If you oh, yeah, targeted, yeah, I know, and I see what you're saying now. Yeah, go yeah, on. And then. In fact, I can actually be even more clever, because he'll move to there, and then swing, because that leaves a space open here for yeah. Lilith. Yeah, okay. Go on, then. So, two dice, leaving sixes. Yep. Huh. One, one, one hit. hit. Well, that's okay. We know that's not a trap. Yep. Unless she got. Yeah. Uh, fails to wound and he Long attacks failure. you. That's fine because I'm in the grass. Basic action, which uh, we know is speed two, speed three on the grass. Uh, two's to hit, but uh, you've got grease. grease. And you're at minus one accuracy. Oh, God, yeah. So he's on twos, threes, fours to the grass, grease, fives, accuracy, sixes. Oh, one hit. One hit. Well, that was, that's okay. Does yeah. he get perfect you, strength or anything? No, no, no. no, no. Um, where so I can roll, or you can dodge. I have no survival. Oh, well, that's, that answers the question immediately. <laughs> yeah. So where is it going? It hand hits the hand. The hand uh, so it's two on the hand? Two damage. So that takes me to my heavy. That's fine, so you knock down. It. So when you, take a, when you knock off a heavy hit, like a uh, bit yeah. of your health, you get knocked down. Yeah. Which is fine, because then you're still not a threat. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then Lilith. Uh, yes. 
one, two, three, four, five. Okay. She will dash. Okay, so, so roll for that. Roll for your survival action. Yep. So, six, please. Yep. Yes. Yeah. She keeps it. And then so attacks. Back here, she will attack. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, sorry, he should have had an extra dice. Uh, but it would have been knocked down anyway. Yeah. Because of the, the first one we rolled against. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so rolling two dice uh, with the king spear. Yep. Uh, or actually, I think scraps. You scrap need. Sword. We need to yeah. get rid of the yeah, scrap sword. Yeah. So fives. Hey. Yeah. And we get it. Hello, hello, hello. We know that was going to come out as a second card. Yeah. So obviously, let's resolve this. Yeah. Unfortunately, a perfect hit too. Mm. We should have been plus four strength. <laughs> Oh no! Shame. Anyway, so yep. uh, basic attack. Yeah. Uh, so three, speed three, uh, hitting her on. Accuracy is two. Grasp brings four. Four. Grease and hide is six, six. and seven. Minus, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm two. sorry. Um, wow. Not just us getting good rolls. Okay. So where are they going to hit? Body and body. Oh wow. no! So that is uh, four strength. damage. Four. And that is, I have to roll for her damage. Uh, yes. So I have to roll to see what happens to her. Yep. Open the book. The big book of doom. <laughs> Consult the tome. So this yeah. is something you'll notice as well, Sam. you're going to knock some of the oh, cards yeah. Sorry. Off. This is something you'll notice as well, Sam. You always do get the monster. It feels like it just suddenly fights back at you. It does, okay? yeah. Sucker punch you. Oh, oh, you're so dead! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, you're dead instantly. Take her off the board. Ah, uh, that was a shame. Wow. Ah, uh, we will. Sorry, right, we will skin her carcass and take her home. Oh, we've been totally. Don't, don't you want to bury her respectfully? What if we forgot? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait whoa. a minute. Wait a minute. Right? Is there a chance at survival here? I think there is a chance. Survival. Is this king step? Um. Oh, trap reshuffle. I don't know. The attacker is caught. Attacker is doomed. Because she's got king step. But, uh, uh, it's, so what does it do? Well, king step normally allows you to, whenever you attack, after drawing hit locations, but before rolling to wound. Okay, it's before rolling to wound. Yeah, so, so it, it, it was drawn, it. so it wouldn't affect it. It's a shame. We could have used that to our, to our advantage. If yeah. we knew. But it's a moot point. We've been doing very well. She's dead. And uh, yeah, that's all right. We get to bring her gear and stuff home and... Like I said, we'll harvest her organs. We, we loot her don't, body. Don't we bury her respectfully? No, I mean, we, she we, just we, did a sterling job against no, us. No, no, look, the, you need to get your first blood. You need to skin your first <laughs> dead survivor. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna make a vest out of her. <laughs> I was thinking a rather nice negligee. <laughs> okay. Um, the images. <laughs> I was going to say, let's grind her liver into something useful. Yes, please do that. Do that. Um, right. oh, I love this game. So that was done on our turn. Yes. So who's still left to activate? So we've done. I we have did, an activated. Yeah, but... and Eve did activate. She cat eye circlet. Yeah. She moved. Could she encourage? No, she moved there before the monster. Yeah, she so did. She does. All she's so. done is cat eye circlet so far. So you could. So I could technically encourage someone to get up. Yeah. As oh, he can't search and cause, Sam, yeah. Well, hang on. If Sam gets, if you get Sam up, I can at least run in with a fist and tooth. Uh, fist and tooth. That could be interesting. Mm, yeah. In rear uh, two. Uh, no, it. there's a there's a really simple answer to this. I don't have any survival to oh. encourage uh. with. Um, Shame. Lilith did. <laughs> so that's that that that's bad. Um, but it only has what a couple of cards left. Yeah. One of them being that weird mood. So she's going to move uh, and okay. attack. Okay. Because she's got a scrap dagger, which yes. hits on normally on sevens, mm -hmm. but it's got plus one uh, to hit. Yes. It's the rear sixes. No, oh, hits. no uh, hits. But it also means she's hopefully out of its yeah. line of sight, which Meanwhile, may over here, hit. Sam will just get up. Well, yeah. uh, I think Is that how it end goes? of the monster's next turn. Ends of the monster's yes. next turn. I see. Because you got knocked down during its turn. Ah, I so see. It I thought it was his turn. activation yeah. he used his movement. Which is yeah. mood, <laughs> zone of death, which goes there. Um, yeah. We don't do anything else. Um, 
when the monster is knocked down, blah, 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 blah. Cunning, and at the end of the monster turn, extends its claw. Any survivor, uh, adjacent survivors. So we have to roll one. Uh, so you're on a f one to five. I'm on a six well, to ten. Me and you. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, that's Eve, so actually six to ten. Yeah, Eve six to ten. So she's the target. Yeah. It turns, faces, attacks with a basic attack. Uh -huh. Two uh, speed two, speed three, accuracy hitting on. Oh no, Three. she's so yeah. dead. Hitting on twos, hitting on threes. Four oh, hit. Oh no, she has absolutely no way of dodging any of this. Where do they hit? This is all for two damage each. Oh, we have two we have on the waist. So legs is her knocked down. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, hands. Sorry, yep. not legs. Yeah. So the hands knock her down, but the the four into the waist. One, two, heavy, knocked down, yep. and roll for critical injury. Um, well, hang on. They're the same. Yeah, and it was here? on the waist, so she got done one, two, heavy, and there was one damage left over. So All right, is it not four damage you were taking? Yeah, and she had one armour, and yep. she has three hit location, so that's three damage, and there's one left over, which means it does a... Oh, uh, you have to roll? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Five. Five. Oh. <laughs> you might get away with it. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it. We know it's not dead outright. I'll I'll just, just look at the board right now. Yeah, we're all down. Yeah. This could be the first TPK. Uh, Maybe not. I think we can still do it. Yeah, I think we can do this. Up. I mean, how many uh, how many wound cards has it got left? Uh, like, currently two. She two. has got we can do this. a warped pelvis. Oh. Which means minus one permanent luck uh, and gains a bleed token. So actually, you can that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you ever had it with a pet where you turn to them and go, "No, stop that! I am not a chew toy." But <laughs> now it gets bad again because it does grab. Uh -huh. uh, which direction? Yes, that yeah. way. So one, two, three, four, five. She's put there. Yeah. And it does another two damage. Yeah. As part of grab, um, to the legs Those feet which is fine she was and that was her yeah. knockdown so she's completely butchered at this moment yeah mm. right end of the monsters go yeah uh I'll stand up do they all stand up end of the next monster's turn um because well, we're looking at knockdown isn't it so who yeah. was not definitely uh sam stands up yeah and i think okay. definitely i stand up because i think he triggered the that was trap, in, wasn't it? yeah that was during our turn yeah, knock down survivor. Um, if a survivor is knocked down in the middle of attack, yeah, uh, stand at the end of the next monster turn. So yes, does get up. Good. Okay. So um, do you get up? No. Uh, end of the next monster turn. End of the next monster ah, okay. turn. All right. Unfortunately, so, I don't have any survival to encourage or anything. Yeah, none of us do. Uh, mm. Might I suggest you walk in there? I'm going to try. I don't have much movement though. Uh, so you've got five. Yeah, my, all I can really do is one, two, three, four, five. And are you within four? One, sorry, one, two, three, four. Uh, so we're still outside of that zone. Yeah, but maybe what you want to do is move to towards the because remember, if it, if it's going to attack anyone right now, mm. it's going to more than likely will be threats. Yeah. So possibly you want to stay outside of movement five of it. So if you move. So like, if you move, so it's going to move one, two, three, four, five. So if you're like there, okay. it may walk up to you. And I may join you to here like that. Okay. And then we see what it's happens. Just us with the big weapons waiting for it. Yeah. Hopefully. Oi, beastie. So uh, oh, yeah. we've got Vicious Claw, uh -huh. which we know is random survival. Oh, it's random survival and range. So we know uh. it's going to, odds are... It'll be one of us. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to yeah. chow down. Uh. So, oh, wait one, two, three, a minute. Wait a minute. Look, it's got lost hand. Oh, oh yeah. We're done. Oh, we take its hand off. Yeah. So the white line. Did that vicious claw kill Lilith? Uh, or was it the trap that killed her? It was the trap that yeah, killed her. Damn yeah. it, I was trying to bring her back to life. <laughs> um, anyway, if so, you clap your hands and believe real hard. So I cool. get plus one understanding uh -huh. from that. Once per lifetime, so that's used. Uh, once per lifetime is here, so that's uh, strange. That's a lost hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So, because it looks at its blood pool. So that's that's resolved. That's all it does. Oh right. It's AI. So it takes a swipe and then looks confused at its yeah, stump. and then it does its uh, basic attack action. Yeah. Uh, which is closest survivor oh, in no. field of view. Oh um, no. Which is. Oh no, Eve. Eve. She's she, she's so dead. Yeah. Uh, speed two. Isn't speed she the blue savior for the? No. 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 Bank, we didn't bring her out. That's no. uh, Jezebel. Jezebel. Her number, yes. right. Here we go. Um, yeah. It hits with two. I think. Yeah. 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 Hits with dead. two. Yeah. Uh, it's probably dead here. Hits with two. Hitting the hands and waist. waist. Yeah. Yeah. Body is through. Hands is already through. So we roll on the hands. Yeah. Location. Yep. Isn't it? Okay. You might survive. Let's see. This is wild. Everyone's <laughs> ta taking it on the chin. This is a tense one. It's it's fairly close for once. Um, so Lilith decided to take some young trainees out into the field. Mm. Has been murdered. And neither the apprentices are panicking, trying to murder this thing back. So she's got another bleed. Yeah. Two minus two strength tokens. Okay. And she has to skip the next hunt. Yeah. Oh. And then it does grab and moves away from the majority of the. So it will move all the way to the edge there. She gets placed there because once it hits the edge of the board, it stops. And I then see. It, and then next time, if it was to move, it would slide along the yeah. edges. And it does two more damage to the hands, hands. again. So I now have to roll the hands again. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh no. Eight. An, and it does eight. the same thing again. Yeah. So more bleed. And two more. Hang, 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 hang. How much bleed can you take in total? So uh, five, remember. Five. Yeah. So she's yeah. okay. So on three. Three. Um, oh, three. Well, it should be four because it was two more bleeds. Okay. It's so one more bleed like that, and, and she's dead. dead. Okay. So now it's Arga, and she does get up. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Well, she's at strength. The lowest your strength can go down to is zero. Yeah. So the the modifiers for this is is yeah. inconsequential to using her fist and two. So I, but we need to lower the monster towards yeah. us. We need to yeah. move up. I, I think. would suggest She's you stab it first. Just you, think on I, the you want me to stab it? I want you to stab it. I'm going to fist and tooth it because it's right. at yeah. zero strength anyway. Okay. Uh, and it hits on eights and I get bonuses on criticals. So go um, for it. Yeah. Ah, but you're minus one luck. Oh. oh. So you're better Use your dagger. It, hoping for the perfect hit. Yeah, I just got to go with dagger and just hope yeah. it's um. Well, it's going to be strength zero anyway. So that's wounded on tens. I'm just I'm criticals anyway then. Yeah. A ten is always a wound, but no it matter what. A, but yeah. it's but it's not critical if you get it. Yeah. With her minus lot, so th uh, sevens to hit. Seven yeah. and eight. Two, Two hits. hits. Okay. Beast's knee. I'll go with beast's knee. And his knee. chest. Uh, I need a. I basically just need to roll a ten to wound. Yep. Yeah. Knee first. No. No. And again. Again. Yes. Hey. Okay. So you got not, it. So it's not critical because she's got minus one luck. Yeah. But she does actually wound to take out the vicious yes. claw. That was curious. Yeah. Uh, she's never gonna leg it. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, no. Um, hmm. She's going to leg it to there, because if it does move into range to her, yeah. I'm thinking next turn she might just try and grab oh, the acanthus yeah. plant. Yeah, I'm good, good idea. It. Right. Everyone else can have that action, then. Okay. Yeah. Sam, care to walk yeah. in? I do, indeed. Let's, let's bring it to us. So Just get into the grass. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I will stand beside you. There. Okay. Ready ah. and waiting. Yeah. Uh, basic, action. basic action is close to survivor. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> mm. e no. So, go. Sam, I was actually thinking if you ran right at the damn thing. To try and bring it in, I wouldn't get into it. So, yeah. Range. This is, I, I think we made the mistake that. a couple of rounds ago by not sending you in to actually mm. draw it out. I still, could, even on that round, I wasn't in. Close yeah, but you enough. would have been closer. And then this but round, you was, would have been in. Yeah, this round, I would have been in. Yeah, but I think we, we maybe screwed up it. there. Yeah. But we can only work from where two. we are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there was no other way. It was going to be this way anyway. So, yeah, it goes there. Attacks. It does yep. basic action. Uh, speed two. Let's see if she can hang three. on a little longer. 
because she did her attack so she couldn't even use her fecal self to not be the target. Yeah. Uh, and she doesn't have any survival. Yeah. She is so, so dead. Yeah. You, you've said that for two attacks now. Um, yeah, but I actually really it's reverse psychology. Yeah. Um, using reverse psychology on the game. Needing uh, threes. threes. Yeah. Only one, one hit. Might be enough to finish it. And it hits the... Well, it needs to hit... <laughs> it doesn't matter where it hits, it's going to do damage. Yeah. Hits the body. Yeah. Uh, All for your damage. Knocks her down and does... A nine. nine. Oh. But okay. if this does bleed, she is... Yeah. Still dead. She will, yeah. she will be I dead. that probably will do bleed. I, it should do. If it doesn't, I'll be... Um, <laughs> shocked. Shocked. Amazed. And so very happy. Like, yeah, Please. she's dead. dead. Oh Take no! Take her away. Oh. that's brutal. Yeah. Oh well, it's our go. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. He's gonna run up to it and smack it. Uh, what's your armor looking like, Sam? My armor. Uh, the only one that I have exhausted is my waist. So I yeah. and I still have full health and all the other. So places. you're technically strength two with your fist and tooth. Yeah. So, one, two, what's your movement? Five. Five. But don't forget, he'll, he'll move forward, the mood will kick in. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the main. That's a real right pain in the butt to have as your last one. You've got bone darts. We've only uh, got to do one wound. Yeah, let's try with All the right, bone I'll darts. Alright, I'll try the bone darts. I will try the bone darts. So it's one dice, needing a seven. I'm in range. This will not end well. No, it did uh, not technically end you're well. at plus one speed, remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, take two. Yes! Oh, perfect hit. Perfect hit. You gain another plus one in sanity. Okay. You hit the... Beast Femur. Right, your strength on the bone dart is? Three. Okay, so you need a seven to wound. There okay. There's nothing else Come to on, help we you believe in you. Oh, I believe was okay. misplaced. Okay. Could have had it on that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, um. Huh. You kind of just need it to walk up to you. Note yeah. to self, when we go back to the settlement, please let's make some proper ranged weapons rather than bone darts. Yeah, we need to make some bows next, yeah. I think, if we can make them. If we can get it sinews for them. If So we're already, when a survivor moves into a space within the zone of death, um, hmm. So Sam can move in and get an attack with fist and tooth. Yeah. Well, the moment you move, it stops and it then priority targets and attacks you anyway. Yeah. yeah. Would it then cunning and tear off? With no, it? it wouldn't. So who's still got some? I I don't have any survival, but I can. You've I have got the, the most armor life. To take it. Okay, we can. So or it, we well, can just end okay, our turn. You're already you're already in the zone, action. right? And yeah. it will move towards you. Oh yeah, I'm already so, in. We're already in the zone. So would that trigger? If you move, well, hang far. All we're doing with this is giving it a free attack to get ourselves an attack this turn. Yeah. So if we actually just end our turn, let it move in with the basic attack, and it will do a base. It will do a basic attack, and then it will also do cunning and move ah, away. Is the you kind of yeah. need to tempt yeah. it forward yeah. to do what you need. Yeah. You see, this is what I was thinking. I want so to. So I have a suggestion. Kind of yeah. Yes, Chris. It's gonna be painful. I'm sure it will. Move, so it's zone of death is uh, four squares around it. So one, two. Isn't three. it only if you enter that zone of death? No, it's if you enter any square. Yeah, I see. Yeah. So it's four squares deep, which also includes there. So if you, but the thing is, if you move, so you're already four away. So if you took a step back, mm -hmm. you're moving out of the space. So it yeah. doesn't trigger its movement yet. Yeah. Then you move two to there. Mm-hmm. And you've still got a movement left, and then you pop into there, which will trigger it, okay? Yeah. And then how will it move? It will do one, two, three, four, five. five. And ah, you're out of range. Hey, that was very clever. That's your action. Yeah. You haven't got a combat action, and you couldn't have activated to do combat, so that's mm -hmm. fine. But it does now mean that Joshua... Doesn't have... Surge, have you attacked yet? He hasn't. Uh, he he threw bone darts. Oh. So maybe it would just be best if I moved up and hit it with the uh, claw. Except that you're taking the hit. Yeah, I think that's our only bet. Otherwise, 
right now I'm not getting the so you mean back. so you mean move there and then move back into the space so it walks up to yeah. you like that yeah. Yeah. and hope it misses you yeah. and fluffs yeah. the roll and well, then there's a fair chance of it missing. and then oh you can't even you haven't had your combat action yet no I haven't so, so I can you could always fist and tooth yeah it. that's the plan so seven to hit seven to hit with basic action misses me it, it, it has not been able to catch me this game. Yeah. Apart Dis from and this gets discarded. Yeah. So it's still got one. So that's the wound that you can yeah. do. Yeah. And now, but then it will be out of the game. Yeah, which would be so nice. Fist so, and two. So I have speed two for this? Yeah. Hitting on eights. No. Oh. No good. And there's nothing I can expend no. to boost no. that roll now. And then it's. Uh, so it End gets of round. Its mood card back. And then it's its action. So it draws mood card. Gets its mood card. Goes in back into play. And then, and we'll then have the grab. It's basic and then and then it's end of its round. Uh -huh. Does basic action. But there's a surge point. Can anyone we surge? Have we have no, no surge. Survival. Oh no, we're gonna get munched here, aren't yeah. we? At this rate. Yeah. We'll see, because Ah uh, no, I think I think it's possible we can take him. Yeah, we'll okay, we'll see what happens. Right, so... Oh. It's, it, we're still pretty hard to hit, both of us. Okay, uh, so Joshua odds, Sam evens. Yeah. Uh, odds. Oh, sorry, odds, sorry, yeah. Uh, that means Joshua? Yeah. Grab and take him. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah, because it's doing cunning, sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so it does one damage... Two da sorry, two damage to random location. Waste. waste. Uh, which it's fine. Knocks him down anyway. Oh no, you've got armor there. Oh uh, no, it knocks used. him down, okay. And then it moves away. One, two, three, four, five to that. Takes me with it. Yeah. You're not it likes it over there, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. So Sam, step back, step forward. Yeah, yeah that's all you that's can all do. all you can do. Uh, that wouldn't put me in its uh, range though, would it? Oh yeah, it's further away now. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to move forwards. I, I uh, the grass. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yep. Um, is that sensible to or do? Or if you just stand and let it come to you for the turn, it'll then do grab on it you. It might end up mauling on him though for it. Oh yeah. The grab like... is always on the adjacent survivor. We're yeah. really, really stuck here. So I think just walk yeah, in. Walk We're gonna in have to just chair. do it. That's all yep. we can do. One, two, stop. And it, it moves, turns around you? and it goes to attack you. Rawr. Hitting on uh, what's you've got evasion uh, two, two yeah, yeah. so it's hit, got hit on fours, hit on one. fives. Is that including its minus one accuracy? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, two hits. two hits. I think this is a TPK, the first one of our Shh. entire go. Oh well. Yeah. Hits. Body and legs. Body and legs. I have armor on both of those still. Huh. Excellent. Wow. For two uh, damage. Two damage. Oh, for each of them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now you fist and tooth. Uh, Doesn't it carry me off? No, oh, that's no, no, that basic action. Yeah. Mood? So now you can do fist and tooth. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, and fist and gets tooth. discarded. Uh, yes. Let's hope this gets through. It's uh, it gets a hit. Yeah. You get a hit. Uh, strength. Uh, what was You're it? At strength two. So you need eight to wound and nine or more to crit. Oh. oh, blast! Okay. Um, so it now has its go. Yeah. So on to Sam because he's the closest survivor, and it does that. Yeah. Um, and then and there's then a it... thing, actually. Oh yeah, the grab happens now, so it'll grab Sam now. Yeah. yeah. And move away. Yeah, which will be in this direction. Yeah. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five to there. Yeah, we got we've been as you can clearly see we've been properly yeah we got into a horrible we've got cycle. a very bad glass card and yeah it's just it's recycling that that tactic and it's just and so then effective. it does two damage to your body, body which, which is you have to roll enough. for no you well, no I'm still body. going you're fine yeah still armor there uh, end of that monster's turn I stand up yep yeah. uh, right I'm gonna risk it you have, you have to, to. This, this, Dumb idea. Send me five forward here. Or no, four forward. Four? Yeah. Am I within? Yeah, you are. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. 
So that'll come to me like so. Yep. And, and then attack. Basic action, needing so twos, threes, fours. Fours. Oh, is it fours? Yeah, because yeah. you don't have full armor. Uh, okay, Roll fours. One, Only one. one hit. That's two damage. Body. Waist. 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 Oh, waist, sorry. Uh, on his waist, he takes one armor, one light damage. Oh, he's okay! Oh. Counterweight at axe time. Oh, three dice. Dice. Come on. three dice on six. Just take a breath. Yeah! Two perfect hits. So that's two insanity you get there. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is in is foaming at the mouth. Okay, so we've got beast back. Hmm. No trap, no trap. Uh, straining neck. Whew. Okay, so strength of four. Uh, you triggered this, so this goes back to the discard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strength of four. Yeah. Six to wound. What's best? You have neck? to get a strained neck. Okay. Six. Yes. It's a wound. That's that the get rid of gone. That. The mood yes. is gone. <sighs> Finally. All right, and the last one is on its back. On a six to wound. <laughs> yes. Seven. Wow! Oh, oh I've had okay. enough of you! Yeah. Um, wow! <laughs> Amazing! Thank you very much! Um... Yeah! yeah. Okay! That was a fight! We that, made was it. A, that was a trial by yeah. blood! Um, Welcome to Kingdom Death! Look at it this way, we've called the weak from the herd. Mm -mm. <laughs> Indeed. Although Lilith was actually quite the badass during the- Ah, you know what I've been forgetting the entire match for her? What? She had one plus one strength and minus one accuracy. You. Oh, oh well, apologies. she's dead, so. Yep. Very That's sorry punishment. For that. Okay, so, white line resources. Yes. What do we get? We've got. In sorry. here. Claw. Nice. Bones. Nice. Uh, tail. Lovely. More white fur. Nice. And uh, shimmering mane. Is that right? Lovely. Is that five? Yeah. I don't know. Six. We need some ligament. Cat eye. Yeah, oh, we need some ligament to make... Um, uh, we get basic monster resources too, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's correct. We get four of those. Six of those. No, four basic, six lion. Uh, no, two dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we get two extra basic resources. Oh, which one <laughs> of their bodies? We, we get we skin hide. Them. Nice. Hide. Nice. <laughs> That's them. Stuff. Bones. Hide. Bones. That's it. I like right. that we got three hides from the three dead bodies. Here. What? Two dead bodies. Yeah, two of our dead bodies. One of the dead yeah. bodies. So yeah, that's it. Um, rewards as well. Um, everyone who took part that's alive at low. Oh, yeah, this is Shane. You get two hunt XP for facing down a level two lion. Nice. Okay. Uh, you also get one point in weapon proficiency level if you've been using that weapon. Yep, uh, Joshua didn't have one yet. So you don't have one. And we've done rewards. So that's it, done. Well, I hit a, well, um, a milestone. We'll a get milestone. to that, care that when we get home. Okay. Right, I tell you what, let's take a quick break and we will set up for the settlement phase that you all love so much. <laughs> okay, everybody, we are back and it is time for the settlement phase. This is going to be interesting. So our survivors have made it back. Mm -hmm. We have built the settlement. We gain an endeavor each. We also need to wipe out and reset anything on their character sheet, so any damage they've taken, yep. we, wipe, so. we wipe away. Okay. Um, this is why it's good to be gentle with your pencil when you're doing this. The other thing is we had an age milestone hit for some of the characters, didn't we? Um, yes, Joshua has hit his age milestone. Okay. You know, uh, Sam there actually managed to go through that without taking a single sort of point time. of damage. <laughs> So has he got an age milestone as well? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So they gain a weapon proficiency. Okay. Uh, Axes? Well, actually, just because of how well it performed, I'm going to go swords for Joshua. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, go on swords. I would actually scrap go, swords are great. I would actually go swords for Sam because I really did not like that bone club. It limited things too much. You're welcome to go for that. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Go on then. Oh, so. uh, okay, yeah. Yep, go swords. for swords. I'll go for axes. Okay, uh, and then roll 2d10 and take the sum yeah. of the results. 
After yourself, Sam? Uh, D10, right. please. 2D10. 2D10? Yeah, Thank and you. add it together. Uh, so, 8. Uh, gains one random fighting art. Uh, okay, so we've got any other fighting art cards that are out on the table? Um, yes. Yes, that's Kriest. I don't have one here, I don't think. I, think I don't all. have any here. No, okay. So, we'll just quickly shuffle these. Do that. Yeah. And then... Now here's a question for you, Chris. Just while you're doing that, would you sleeve all of the cards in this? Yes, <laughs> I've got, I've, I've sleeved so everything. Yeah, we were talking about this. That's earlier. why it took so long to upgrade my kit because you have uh, to unsleeve cards and sleeve it all again. Right. Uh, but I do have it sleeved. So you've got tumble as a fighting art. So write that okay. on the sheet. Yeah. Okay. So I'll roll two for Joshua. Yep. Uh, come here. Let's see what we get. Uh, for it. So it's the same thing as well. So Run if I take that out. back. Um, so again. Let's see what we've got. And stop. Let's see what we get. He's crazed again. So you don't <laughs> get a fighting art. Unfortunately, that's how that works. If you if you draw the same fighting yeah. art, you yeah. just miss out on the chance. You see, he's went from crazed to eccentric. <laughs> so that's that done. Yeah. Uh, so we update the timeline. Yeah. So we've got a few things on the time. So we yeah. tick that off. We've yeah. got lights in the sky that we need to remember. I've yeah. got the wrong uh, thing uh, there. So there's nothing else to do. Yeah. So let's first of all resolve lights in the sky. Okay. So a spectacular light show, which mm -hmm. we know from what happened in our events, uh, happens in the sky above. Um, after rolling for any endeavor, you may add plus one or plus two to the result. So you can spend endeavors on this to, yeah. to activate things. Uh, but only if we have these things are locked. So we don't have graves. Yeah. We don't have face painting. We do have inner lantern. Mm. Inner lantern we can use once per settlement phase. You spend an endeavor and uh, you can gain a fighting out of your choice with that survivor. That's uh, useful. Or if you're all six or more, you, you add the skull eater settlement event to the top to the next lantern year and gain plus one understanding. Okay. Yeah. So we have options there, well. but we also have so, so those are things that we know we could use, uh -huh. and we've got the endeavors, so we may want to do things that now, cost endeavors. Yeah. Uh, thinking about the endeavors, uh, Sam here has post-traumatic stress, so he does not contribute or participate in any endeavors. So we can't participate in these. We can't spend endeavors on him. On him, yeah. To do but these, I, I think he still generates one. He still generates, but he can't participate or contribute. So contribute means like. Um, yeah. Two survivors have to like like no in, making babies. No making babies for him. No, no intimacy <laughs> events for him today. Uh, no, he, he's going to go and cry in the corner. But if we draw the other settlement event, because we have to draw oh, okay. another one as well. Oh, oh. okay. I'm just going to grab the deck. <laughs> uh, there you go, sir. So we've got rivalry. Okay, this makes sense. So if there are less than two returning survivors, okay, so we cannot, we would discard this. Okay, so our two survivors have a rivalry. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we have to roll D10. Okay. Come on, Sam. Roll okay. D10. Okay, let's see. Just the one? Yeah. yeah. Seven. Seven. Uh, the two rivals immediately come to blows. Randomly choose one of the two rivalries to suffer the gaping chest wound severe injury. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, odds for me. Evens Joshua, for Sam. Evens for Sam. Evens. evens. Ran, Sam takes it. Uh, so gaping chest wound. So write down gaping chest wound in permanent in, in the impairments. Yeah. You suffer permanently minus one strength. Okay. It's because you can gain this multiple times. Ooh. Yeah. Um, add rivalry to the next year on the timeline. Oh. So this Do rivalry. We have to keep doing this. Yeah. This rivalry keeps going until Sam, it's resolved. It's a blood feud. So that was lights in the sky we had resolved today. Yep. Lights in the sky. And now we have rivalry, uh -huh. which is in the settlement events there. Okay. Ah, oh, these kids. <laughs> um, the lingering effects is a... So we can also have a duel occur, but you... Because you've got post-traumatic stress, it means yeah, that I can't. can't be a way to resolve this. Yeah. But other people can... Duel later. Um, oh, no. You can't even draw that person into it because... It has to be yeah. that rival. Oh, right. So um, next round, we may be able to do it. Or, oh, no, it, 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 rivalry is the select like two random returning survivors. Right. So, so it could be a different pair of survivors. Mm. Okay. It's just that the rivalry 
is maybe going to spill out into the rest of the camp. Yeah, the, the rest of the, the settlement has seen us going at it and that's beginning to break down the, the bonds of you know brotherhood and sisterhood that we have within society. So the next thing to do is update the death count. Do more dad. Yep. Pop uh, close to 10. <laughs> there's nothing there to do. Uh, flip and population, population goes down to 10. Update the death count. Yeah. And then next is trigger Check milestone story events. Uh, I think we just did that out of sequence. But that's yeah, okay, yeah. fine. We've done that. And now we get to develop. Yeah. So it costs an endeavor and uh, resources to yeah. to generate an innovation. You draw two cards randomly and select the one you want to keep. Yeah. So it's an endeavor, a bone, an organ, and a hide. We should have that in. I think easiness. we need to innovate because it's the yeah. only way you're going to keep getting some more cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. So shall we. Um, there's that. That's all the stuff we, we grabbed today. Yeah, if you flip that. But I we've also got tons of stuff here. Yeah. So let's just eliminate a hide, an organ, and a bone. Yeah. Straight so off what, the bat. Do we have them in there? Or? We've got some in there, but let's just remove the ones we've got as cards. All right, well, there we is bone the and hide. Yep. What organs do we have? I, think, I we think we've got a question mark organ. Yeah, I would like to save it, just because it's so useful. What is it allow? It allows it, it to be bone, hide, or organ. You can use ah. either cat. The uh, cat eye, we've got a cat eye circlet. I don't think there's anything else we can use that on. Um, uh, well, where we would look is here. Or there's nothing no, in the no, weapon sorry, craft. We've already used it in the Katerium to make the cat eye circlet. Uh. So I think, yeah, go for it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We um, use it. So it's, otherwise, what? it's just a random organ. Yeah, that'll do. So that's spent, and the endeavor. Yeah. So then let's. Sh I've shuffled that. Just shuffle it again. Just cut it or something. I don't uh. know. And then draw two cards. Okay. Say when, Sam. When? Okay. So we have the options of family. Interesting. And pictographs. Okay. So do I put those under? Yeah. There? So pictographs um, means that the start of Survivors Act, they may decide to skip their act and run away. Ooh. Uh, after a, after a hunt event is resolved, the survivor may decide it's time to go home and run away. So also you can have people leave before things get really bad for that yeah. survivor in the fight. That could have been useful. Um, it's it's good, but obviously running away is the cost of that is you're not going to get resources. Mm. Yeah. Or but that is Fair for a survivor. So if there is a, a survivor who is literally just on their last leg, they can leg it. But it's a dang, it's a risk. Yeah. yeah. It's not a free get out of jail card. Yes. Yeah. What's family do? Family. Departing survivors gain plus one survival. Always useful. And survivors nominated for intimacy may give themselves a surname. Oh. So this then means a newborn survivor inherits the surname of the parent and half of their weapon type in uh, the weapon type proficiency of one of the parents. Uh, so the parents start teaching them. Yeah. I would go family. Yeah. yeah. Family. Family, here. yeah. Okay. So let's pick family. That goes in. And that also means we gain... Uh, the family innovations into yeah. the innovation deck. So we'll build that uh, properly next yeah. time. So right. that's, that's innovations done. Yeah. Uh, now, what do we want to make? Um, I uh, would actually are like Are there to any use... ranged weapons that we can make at all? There are, but there's one thing I would like to do first. Yeah. I would like to trigger an intimacy event. Okay. Okay, that's a good idea. Because we, we do have a matchmaker amongst our people, do we not? Um, we he may have. We've got John here. We've got. I believe John's oh. a matchmaker. He is. He may spend an endeavor to trigger the intimacy event. Correct. So I would like to do that because we've lost a lot of people. It's that's time true. to repopulate a little bit, I think. So we've got an unnamed female survivor, which we'll use as the mother. Yep. And um, who has to miss the next. Hunt of uh, Sam does. Yeah. Sam, you want to be? Oh, you oh no, he can't. can't. No, he can't. No, in... he's pe he's post traumatic stress. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, uh, Adam, if he's still about, uh, Kian. Let's see how Adam is. Interesting. Uh, we've got Kane. Have we got Kane? I've got Kane sheet here. Oh, he may have died. Never mind. I thought we had Kane. He's I thought we had Kane. Okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. Just let's use Adam. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're using Adam yep. and unnamed female, yes. and we're going to roll on the intimacy Just, event. Right. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I will let you roll this one. <laughs> Why is it always me? Let's move those out. Well, actually, they will keep out. Sorry, keep that. 
Yeah. Oh, no, we've used all the endeavors so looking back on the deck. Sorry. Okay, okay so intimacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there we go. Have a good Five. Uh, a new survivor is born. Uh, Excellent. Don't forget we have protect the young. Oh, we roll twice and pick the highest. Uh, pick, uh, it's uh, both fives. fives. Yeah, okay, so we've got a newborn, uh, male, 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 male. Ma okay, we're going to have a newborn male. Uh, um, where are we, short of meals? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's it. There's n and we can do family, so it's between, what did we say? It was Adam and unnamed. Yeah, so half of Adam's... So uh, this new male... Yes. ...gains axe proficiency straight away at one, because Adam has it at two. That's fine. Excellent. So that's useful. That's um, actually really good. Mm. They've got survival of one to start with. Uh, huh? Hannibal. Hannibal. <laughs> well, I guess we are cannibals. So that's fine by me. I wonder if there's fava beans in this world. Right. So that's intimacy dealt with. Yes. Now we can build stuff. Yeah, let's build stuff. All right. Uh, what do we have in storage? In storage, we have oh sheets going galore. Um, we've got lion claw monster. Uh, we've got bone blades. Oh, we've got those. So some of these are the items we've got. We've got mon monster bones times three. We've got phoenix finger. We've got monster grease. We've made yeah organs mm -hmm. times two. Four broken lanterns. Some rainbow droppings. Mm. Uh, more generic bones um, and a skull. And right. a partridge in a pear so, tree. So quite <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could build the Zambato. Oh, uh, yes, it's a slow. It's um, it's a slow weapon, so you only get one roll to hit with it. But it is powerful because mm. we've got great cat bones and hide. So now, if you yeah. want to do that, we do yeah. that. Do we have any? We do. Range? We can make a cat gut bow. Uh, I think we should definitely make one of those. Uh, can we? We need sinew, don't we, for the great? That no. Oh, organ, bone, hide, consumable. Uh. If you look at cat gut bow. Yeah, sinew and bone. Yeah, we don't have sinew. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, hide, vermin, consume. Wait, this thing counts as hide? Nice. What is it? The crab spider. Interesting. <laughs> um, uh, but also, you can use, if you keep it, we can use yeah. it for cooking. Keep uh, the crab spider. If we ever develop cooking. Hide. Um, what am I looking for? Weapon one. crafter. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at what? Uh, Zambato. Yeah, so a great cat bone. And some hide. So we have the great cat bone. Um, and what's what's it take to make um, what's the other one? Finger of God, one phoenix finger, and four bone. Okay, so that's the Zambato, mm -hmm. and that's and that's a finger of the God because we've also got um a um I oh know we've got rainbow. Oh, we have got phoenix, and we've got rainbow droppings as well. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the different options no here. Yeah. Uh, is there anything we can make with rainbow droppings on the plumery? Uh, Phoenix whisker, wishbone scrap. Uh, Phoenix. Uh, is there anything with a Phoenix finger there? Seal feathers. No, I think we're a bit done for yeah. on the plumery. Okay, yeah. so the Zambato, as we can see, speed one, hits on sixes, uh, it's two handed weapon, grand weapon, melee weapon, bone weapon, it's frail. Yeah. Bit of a problem with that. Uh, but it wounds on its strength six. Yeah. Alternatively, it requires a lot more resources to make, but the finger of God is a spear. Mm -hmm. so it's reached two. It's not slow. Yeah. Um, it's speed two, hits on fives, strength five. Deadly on this, uh, I can't remember what deadly does. Let me just quickly look that up. Mm -hmm. um, deadly means... Why can't I see it on here? Deadly, deadly. There we go. Plus one luck when making uh, so for yeah. verticals. I, I think go for the finger of God. It's a more stable weapon. Yeah. What do we need for it? Uh, finger of God requires a phoenix finger, which we've got in store, yeah. and uh, four bone. bone. Four bone. We've got one bone. Oh, we've got one bone here. Yeah. Um. How much more bone do we have? Uh, the only other thing we have is this. So we have four bone total out here. Is that including the crab? No, uh, crab no, no, no it's hide. No, I see. It's hide. I think we, I think we go with it. 
Um, it's a powerful weapon. Yeah, and it's got a lot of unlocks weapon. that if you've got it's red, blue, and green affi affinities on lock, as long as you have five plus survival, um, which we don't have quite yet. So we can't unlock, we've got to wait until we innovate more. Yeah. But it's still a powerful weapon. Is there yeah. any armor we could invest in? Before? Well, that's why we've got quite a lot of white lion fur. Yeah. What I would actually suggest... Does any of the white lion fur require bone? The broken lanterns are scrap, aren't they? Uh, yes. We could make two scrap swords. That is... The and one. they are really good for what they are. Mm. And that would give us three people rocking around, around hitting on fives and strength of three with that perfect hit giving you... Uh, Plus four strength, which okay. is ridiculously good. So we'll say no to these, and we, so we make more weapons. That's a, a decision for everybody. Yeah. That's, that's my but thinking. What are the options for armor as well? This? That's a good point because we're we're part way towards making uh, yeah. quite a lot of good armor with the um, with uh, the white lion. So yeah, well, we've got the white lion helm already. Mm -hmm. So we've got. So we could do the gauntlets for white fur and bone. Yeah. Uh, we could do the, the lion coat for white fur and hide. Yeah. Uh, we could do the lion skirt for white fur and hide. Do we have enough white fur for that? Uh, we only have one bit of... Or sorry, so we've got two, two bits of fur. Two bits of white fur. And then we've got a shimmering mane. And we've yeah. got plenty of hide. Shimmering mane um, yeah. can be used... For the headdress. To make a headdress. Yeah. Um, I would suggest make the, the chest and the feet. With a couple of hide. Yeah. So that would mm -hmm. be two more bits of armor. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good uh, idea. I, I think we need yeah, arm, more armor is better. More armor yeah. is always a good idea. Yeah. So what does that make for us? Uh, that so that makes the white lion coat and the white lion boots. So, so white lion coat is giving two armor. Yeah. Mm -hmm, which is nice. It's an uh, armor set for heavy. Uh, spend a movement and a fight action to move three spaces in a straight line. Then if you move three spaces, activate a melee weapon with one plus one strength. Yeah, once you unlock it. Mm. And then on the boots, what do you got? Uh, with the boots you get, if you unlock both the red affinities, you get plus one movement. Which is nice. So, yeah, I mean, we need more armor. We are trying to build up towards that. Mm. So let's, let's take those? those, definitely. Okay. So I'll, um, I'll just put them, put them over there. With yeah, the we'll just put them with everything So let else. me remove what um, resources that. we've used up. Yep. Uh, white fur and monster hide go mm -hmm. away. And then do you want to try and make those weapons? Have we got anything? I was just wondering what else we've got here. We've got, we've still got a lion claw. We've got katars. Ah, oh, I've heard... If only we could make the, um, yeah. Cat gut bow might be a good shape. But we oh, don't no, have no any sinew. sinew. Oh, I have a massive, massive suggestion. Okay. Go for it. Um, let me find the weapon. Bloody hell. You know what we should try and make? The rainbow katana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so love it's, these it's so I would cool. Love that. Um, it is so cool, but let me find it. Um, club. Because this is the other type of club we can make. Uh -huh. It is, is a this? skull cap hammer. Speed 2, 7 plus is hit, and strength 3. And on a perfect hit, uh, the monster is dazed and gets minus 1 speed token. Ooh. Uh, does it have the same penalty that the bone club had? No, so it's a different type of club. Mm. So it's... Maybe should have given him... One scrap. Maybe should have given Sam proficiency in clubs. Oh well. Well, you could still. I think you could. Thinking forward, maybe we should have given him that because we need to maybe diversify, we need to the, diversify. Weapon, the, the weapons that we use. Because some monsters are weak against clubs. Mm. Shall, shall we? We have still have that? heat, don't we? Yeah, we still have heat. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Maybe shall make we... uh, one of each. One of those and a scrap sword. Possibly. Uh, so what bone do we have? We have bone in the storage, yeah? We've got a uh, lion claw and a piece of bone and uh, a skull. Does anyone have proficiency with swords at present? Mm, will you give Sam? I gave him swords. proficiency, but if... Hmm. We, do you want to swap yours to mace? We've got axes. I'm just thinking we've got sword. enough. Axes, I'm happy to stick spears, with swords. bow, um, daggers. No, no swords. Now, here, no here's swords my, and only, no clubs. my only issue with the skullcap hammer is it's a seven to hit. Okay. 
Yeah. One of each, I would suggest. One of each. All right. So and a scrap sword. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll stick so, with the swords proficiency. Uh, there is a white lion claw and a monster bone. And a one of anything. That makes one of them. Okay. Uh, Shall we make use the, that shimmering mane? Um, yeah. Yeah. To make the so headgear. Yeah. Uh, a great cat bone, a shimmering mane, and one of the bones from storage. So shimmering mane can be used. Oh, you're going to make that. Okay. To it makes an yeah rather than use it as hide. Okay. Use it as as what yeah. It is. Have yeah. we got um what were you putting into there? Bone and uh, bone and uh, crab spider for hide. For or what's do I that? Use the, what's that the to make? Use the tail. It's for a sword, the scrap sword. Um, the scrap sword, no, it costs two bone. Uh, yeah, but I need at least one hide. So one bone from no, storage. No, so scrap sword is two bone and one scrap. Oh, one scrap, ah, sorry. Yeah. So a broken lantern. So we've used a broken lantern and we've used a broken lantern here. So broken yeah. lanterns go down to two. Yeah. We've yeah used, we, we spent a lot of time hunting for used broken lanterns. A, we've used that bone yeah, on nice. and... Um, and, and one more from storage. And we use another one from storage. So that's the skull hap hammer. Yeah, and then these are your hammer. That's and that's for the script. Well, either yeah. way, it's the that's Same the yeah. So yeah. Wait, wait. Bone, bone. We've got that still. Don't worry. Because okay. we use the broke because the lantern and the, the same cost. Okay. So they're fine. both gone. Um, Scrap, done, done, done. And then we've made the lion headdress with the shimmering mane. Yeah. So the lion headdress is an accessory. Right. Mm. So you can wear it on the head location and it gives you a further plus one armour. Okay. Well, even if you're already wearing the helm? Yes. Oh. So you wear it on top of your helmet. That's yes, cool. that's effectively mm. yeah. Yeah, cool. what it does. Just for curiosity. But I think that gives us some seriously vicious weapons for our next fight. Um, I'm just trying to think if there was anything else we could do with the... Oh yeah, the, the lion skin cloak, we could have made that as well, but that's something quite different as uh, well. It's too white fur. Yeah, we don't have that, but I'll, I'll show you what that... Two bits again, that's armor. slightly different because it's a... It's, um, it's a type of armour that you wear, but rather than it giving you armour, it reduces damage from every hit suffered by one to a minimum of one. Ah, that'd be very good for fighting the white lion. Ooh. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's an alternative. Yeah. Well, <coughs> armor gets spent versus that just constantly doing its thing mm. is very, very cool. I mean, yeah. we need generic <coughs> armor also, sorry, anyway. Um, so what have we got left, resource-wise? Uh, so we have the what? question marks, yeah. the crab spider, the lion teal, and whatever else is in storage. I guess we keep all that then. So yeah. what have we got? We've got a lion tail. Yeah. Crab spider, was it crab spider? Yes. Mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and the triple question mark. And a triple question mark. Yeah. Um, That's everything spent up and done. Yeah. So, uh, we can prepare departing survivors. Yeah. Uh, so, who do we have left that can go? So, Joshua can quite happily go out next round. He's yep. got his axe. Uh, if it's okay, I'd like to... Oh, there's Kane. Ah, there we oh, go. I was leaning on him. Um, <laughs> uh, if it's okay, I'd like to load out Joshua with the, the new lion gear that we just got. Yep. Um, yep, sure, he earned it. Given uh, that... Well, we've got one other story event I forgot that we need to do. Oh. So, we're going to have the joy of facing a brand new monster on our next hunt, because we've got an expansion! Great. So we've got... Oh, that... Uh, the Dung Beetle Knight. Oh, I see. So... Is this going to hurt? We, Most likely. We add... There's a whole load of stuff that we add into the... Into the new disorders, new fighting arts. Tactics are a new thing we can learn. Okay. Uh, and terrain and so forth. So, time for a story. <laughs> <laughs> are we a rumbling in the dark. Uh, a low, constant rumble woke a woman sleeping on the ground. She quietly shifted her bedding aside and lowered her ear to the ground. Something strange was happening out in the darkness. In a breathless moment, the woman's wonder overcame her fear and she set out to find the source of the tremors underfoot. Nominate a female survivor. Um, Unnamed female. Uh, no, I think we should choose someone because they gain plus one permanent strength. Oh, uh, yeah. Eve? Well, Eve's uh, dead. Eve's dead. Oh, whoops. Jezebel? Uh, uh, she'll go away pretty quickly. Um, 
Who have we got? Nick. Jezebel, Sarah? Bows, oh, and no, the Hayek Sarah's, Sarah's, Sarah's strength too. Sarah's, Sarah's gone. gone. She was, she was the, the, the Red Saviour. Oh yeah, she drop. is gone. Can we get yeah. one of her sheep? Uh, She's dead. Um, we The rest is all unnamed female survivors, so we need to oh, name a new one. We don't want to use Jezebel because that's a blue survivor and that's not good for our long-term yep, uh, yep. efficiency. Yep, unnamed. Uh, unnamed. Yeah, okay. So uh, name, a, name a new female survivor, Sam. Something nice and... Witty, historical. Anger border. Please spell that. Go with something biblical, because yeah. we've been purely biblical these okay. so far. Well, I went Hannibal. Is that biblical? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Rebecca? Okay. Um, Rebecca's biblical? Yes. Okay. Yep. Survivor 1, plus 1 permanent strength. Yep. Uh, that's done, and that means that one is Rebecca there. So, yeah. Anger border was the Norse mythology. <laughs> ah, right. Mother of monsters. Um, okay, so, okay, the woman followed her feet, feeling her way toward the rumble until it became a quake. Ahead, she saw a peculiar figure standing, uh, struggling to push a massive sphere up a hill. The object appeared quite heavy, and the creature faltered often, losing ground. Each time it did, it redoubled its efforts and rolled the massive weight back up the hill, shaking the ground anew. At first glance, the struggle appeared clumsy and pathetic. But as she watched, the woman was taken by the creature's unrelenting perseverance. Even after the monster crested the hill and vanished, its noble form and simple mission stayed with her. Admiration was too weak a word to describe her feelings. So now she's got a new disorder, which is one from mm -hmm. this yeah. kit, which is called Vermin Obsession. Oh, that's an odd one. So we now have a bug lady. Yeah. Why not? Everyone needs a bug lady. Uh, the woman quietly stole back to the settlement, waking no one. Although the others slept soundly, she remained awake, invigorated by, uh, by witnessing such dedication and exertion. Mm. She searched the settlement for the smoothest object she could find and began to roll it, emulating the monster. She would teach the settlement its ways and show them perfect persistence. Gain the round stone training innovation. So this, we just get straight This, from this is that, that yeah, stone we picked up on the way out there. <laughs> no. no. There we go. What is this? So, basically, um, this means that we are able to uh, learn skills like motion sickness, uh, gain the motion sickness disorder, cross arm block, fighting art, the tumble fighting art. So there's new fighting arts that we can get. Mm. And other we bits. just send endeavors to roll and try and learn one? Yeah. That's but nice we get that have. added automatically. Uh, you may now hunt the dung beetle knight. Okay. Add to the quarries list. And that's it. So we are ready to fight that monster. Okay. So um, that means we get to fight this dude here. Oh. Ah, oh my uh, word. Nice yeah. paint job. See, that is there. a beautiful model. Um, so yeah, he's a beetle. And obviously we've got a new bit of terrain, which the is ball. the dung ball, which he rolls around. <laughs> But also, nice. it's a bit of terrain that can occur now in our battles, even when we're not fighting the Dung Beetle Knight. Alright, so are we just finding him randomly scattering these around the wastelands? Ah, uh, yeah. And we're gonna... So, also, the Dung Beetle has an, in, uh, an interaction with the Phoenix, so obviously mm. that's where it gets its dung. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. So, yeah, we're ready to fight. We just need to build our survivors mm. ready for the next battle against the Dung Beetle. Mm. So, I guess next time we get back to this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody, that was uh, Lantern Year 11 for Kingdom Death Monster. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had a good time. We'll be coming back to fight the Dung Beetle, so that one's going to be scary. Stay tuned.